All right, Seattle, we are back. Man, it's time for us to head into the year one playoffs. That's right, GM Superb, man, got the expansion see, uh, Seattle uh, Stallions into the playoffs for year number one. After a horrible start, we uh, we made a trade at the trade deadline, a couple trades at the trade deadline. We fired our coach, hired a new guy, arranged our lines the right way, and look at that. Ended up tying the Vancouver Canucks for the top of the division so unfortunately i thought we won our division in the last video we did not but still look at that pacific division 86 points and we're tied for first <laughs> all right i want to show you guys something hilarious something hilarious all right the atlantic division when we were with the boston bruins it was unreal how hard that division was we go to the entire league right Top team, the Atlantic Division team, Tampa Bay Lightning. Second team, Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, Maple Leafs uh, uh, Atlantic Division team. You got the Dallas Stars, Buffalo Sabres, Atlantic. So three of the top four teams. What the hell? You got Boston in there. You got Florida in there. Five of the top eight teams all coming from the Atlantic. Montreal, the ninth best team out of 32. And they missed the playoffs. They missed the playoffs with 100 points while we made it in with 86. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes, I know it's a video game, but with the current NHL setup, the standings, the playoff format, this is a possibility. <laughs> Colorado Avalanche made it with 85, so we are in the Pacific, and we are off to the NHL playoffs because of that season. And also because we traded away Adam Henrique at the trade deadline for Brendan Dubinsky to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Look at this. Columbus Blue Jackets. Where the hell are they? Hang on. Did I pass them? Oh, yeah. They were one of these teams, weren't they? <laughs> 14th best team in the NHL, but they missed the playoffs. So, in my first year, we made the playoffs. I acquired Evander Kane, a guy who's got a good contract because I got them to retain some salary for multiple years. And we got ourselves a draft lottery pick. That's three for three. That is three for three. Playoffs, a player of the future, and a draft lottery pick. So GM Superb, man, started off this franchise on the right foot. Player stats to show you guys uh, how our team played in year number one. All right. Um, everyone was saying, I mean, Eric Stahl, what, what a fantastic player. Even though we got second line ice time, just because of the chemistry, first line power play time, this guy was the legitimate superstar that we needed. And because of that, everyone right now, all of our scouts, all 1,500 of them, are saying that we should give the captain, captaincy to Eric Stahl. All right, Eric Stahl should be the captain for the playoff run. We need a leader for the playoffs, and it is going to be Eric Stahl. So we're going to give the seat to uh, Captain Stahl. Look at Josh Anderson, 65 points. So we're going to have to pay this guy 80 overall. That's going to be interesting. Callie Yarncroc, 65 points on that. Yeah, it was on that line with uh, Anderson and Stahl. So if we get into trouble in the playoffs, we might even consider moving these guys up to the first line. Screw chemistry. Just get those guys playing up there. Kase Evander Kane coming from the, what's it called, the San Jose Sharks was still a minus player, but look what he did here with Seattle. In 33 games played, point per game essentially, and 19 goals. This guy could be a 40 goal scorer. I just picked up a 40 goal scorer in his prime, 28 years of age, with how many more years left on his deal? Six, well, five years left because it's, you know, this year is a six and then five more years after this year at $5.750 million. A 40 goal scorer for less than six mil. All right. In his prime. That's a really good player. All right. Really, really good player. He knows Stroza with 50 points. Andreas Janssen, 44. Sammy Blay, 43. Bjugstad, Goudreau, all these guys down here. Our defenseman, Sammy Vatnin, that we decided to uh, lock up for a longer term. He's on the team. 37 points, or he's leading the team, I should say. So that's why I decided to lock him up. We need a guy like this. Same thing with Calvin DeHaan. We just need the puck-moving defenseman to help us get those points. All right, and Haycheck and Heed, they didn't bat. They didn't do bad, but they would have had better seasons with the other coach just because they were experienced in the plus-five chemistry. With this new uh, coach, they only have the plus-one, uh, but that's okay, right? We're still just we're, we're growing those guys because we know that they have the pinch-shoot chemistry, and we're setting them up for next season. All right, and then Thatcher Demko. We decided to trade away Grice, and Thatcher Demko was the solid starting goaltender for your uh, uh, Seattle Stallions. A uh, save percentage above 900, and a goals against below 3. I will take that any day. 33, 21, and 6, all right? So there you go. There are your Seattle Stallions for year number one. I'm surprised we made the playoffs, but that Pacific Division, man, that Pacific Division is golden. 
So I'm going to listen to the fans right now, and we are going to do it. All right? Don't know how long he's going to stay on the team, but uh, for this playoff run, we need a leader. We need a captain. Eric Stahl, you led our team to this point. Here it is, buddy. The big C on Eric Stahl. Stahl is the captain of the Seattle Stallions, the very first captain in franchise history. Invalid captains. What the fuck? What I do? Did I remove all the alternates? I must have moved, removed all the alternates. All right, so Stahl is the captain. Uh, we're going to give Evander Kane the alternates, and then we need a defenseman. Uh, it's going to be Vatna. Vatnin or Lar Vatnin or Larson? Vatnin or, Lar or Larson? The stay-at-home defenseman or the puck mover that we just signed? Vatnin or Larson? I will let the Twitch uh, uh, strats strategist chime in right here. Not Kane. No, Kane's got a Kane. Oh, we're going long term with Kane. He's the veteran here. Larson, Larson, Vatnin. A lot of people are saying Vatnin. Lots of people are saying Vatnin right now in the chat. So we're gonna go with the offensive defenseman, Sammy Vatnin. All right, so there it is. The veterans on this team hoping to lead the uh, Seattle Stallions to a deep playoff run. Eric Stahl, Evander Kane, and Sammy Vatnin. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. All right. Now, these guys are, you know, Evander Kane and Vatnin bouncing around different teams. They're getting the chance here. They're getting the chance to be cornerstones on this squad. All right, so that is that. We are essentially ready to go. So let's simulate. Let's advance a day and see who we have in round number one. We finished second in the division, which I think is actually better because then we won't have a wild card from the central. And that means we're up against the San Jose Sharks who fucking made the playoffs with a, th a record of 38, 34, and 10. The exact same record as, as we did. That's perfect. That is perfect. That is per I mean, think about it. The teams in the Atlantic, 200 plus point teams going up against each other. Toronto versus Buffalo in round number one. Washington versus Boston. <laughs> the Central. You got, uh, or oh, yeah, where is the Central? Vancouver, Minnesota. Dallas versus Colorado. And then you have, oh my god. So we have a chance to get to the second round here. If we can get by the San Jose Sharks. The San Jose Sharks, they ended up trading away Vlasic to the Montreal Canadiens. Who ended up missing the play. Holy shit. Montreal missed the playoffs while acquiring Vlasic. San Jose dumps Vlasic and they make the playoffs. With like 14 or 16 less points. What the fuck? Alright, here we go. So the San Jose Sharks in year number one. And we stole Evander Kane from them as well. Evander Kane has the chance to wreck the team that gave up on him. Because remember, they were looking to trade him. So Kevin LeBanc, Logan Couture, and Timo Meyer. So I think that's the reason they were willing to trade away uh, Evander Kane. They already had Timo Meyer, who was five years younger. Power forward. The guy to play alongside a Logan Couture. And then they got Thomas Hurdle, Sorensen, and Perot. I mean, that's weak. That's not a strong top six right there. That's weak. Third line, Rattle, Gambrel, and Yurtekin. I mean, that's not great. Brodzinski, Gregor, and you What the fuck? 62 overall? The player from the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, baby. Man, I don't know. They must have a, they must have an injury or something. Remind me to check out injuries after the scouts, because this is ridiculous. Mario Ferraro. Oh, that's what it is. They have Alexander Steen. Steen's the guy who's supposed to be down there. And Chris Terry. Steen and Terry. So they got two injuries to the to two forwards, essentially. We can beat these guys. They got three forwards they got to worry about. Logan, Hurdle, and Meyer. Everyone else, I mean, they can score, but they ain't superstars. Defenseman, Brent Burns and Arrow. Ooh, that's dangerous. I don't care what you say. That's dangerous. Eric Carlson is going to be dangerous. Uh, the power play during the, I mean, minus 13 in the playoffs, but 47 assists. And now that we're in a playoff run, you know, he can certainly help their power play out. Uh, Burnsy, Shillington motherfucking Shillington be careful that was the guy we ended up trading ended up packaging along with uh Braun I think it was and Braun I think they ended up trading away as well but they held on to the prospect Oliver Shillington that's why uh the Kane trade ended up making sense all right and the goaltender situation <laughs> that's uh that's a little dangerous ladies and gentlemen that's a little dangerous I I improve the team that we're going up against in round one. But even though a lot of our players are on that squad, I would still take that. I would still take the San Jose Sharks in round number one. Absolutely. frickin All right. If Grice is going to beat me, fine. Because we still got Evander Kane out of that deal. All right. And uh, we are we are looking like a good squad ourselves. So Evander Kane, Blaze, and Kase. Or uh, what's his name? Kasha? Is his name Kase or Kasha? I keep fucking that up. What's his name? 
Is it Kasha? Am I saying it right? Kasha. It's Kasha. It's Kasha. Everyone's saying it's Kasha. All right, so it's Kasha, not Kase. I'm sorry, Kasha. I keep on calling Kase. Kasha. Kane, Sammy Blay, and Kasha. All right. Um, but I will move up Eric Stahl to the first line if I need to. Thing is, then we lose the plus five, which I like. But uh, if we need to do it, we're moving Captain Stahl up to the first line. But I want to engage that plus five still. With Josh Anderson and Yarncroc, all right? He knows Stroza, Bjugstad, Janssen. Here's where we come through. It's our chemistry and our depth. Goudreau, Dubinsky, and Vitrano. Much better than a 62 overall in the fourth line, right? Defensively, Sammy Vatnin and Larson, that's where they have us. Brent Burns and Carlson. They got to beat big time there. But then, we catch up with the depth, all right? And then the goaltender situation, it's Demko versus Grice. The two goaltenders that we had as our starter backup. Now, we decided to go with the younger Demko. Sending Grice to the San Jose Sharks. Very interesting here, ladies and gentlemen. Very interesting. Alrighty, so uh, that is pretty much it. Are you guys ready to go? Have I forgotten anything? I'm just going to let the uh, the Twitch scouts report if I've forgotten anything, YouTube crowd. Alright, but I think we are good to go. This is round number one, and I've said it. I'll say it again. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, ladies and gentlemen. Injuries? Check injuries? Yes, i got to check injuries. But um, we had all those years with the Boston Bruins, and we couldn't win the Stanley Cup. Perhaps, as an underdog team, you never know. We just get that luck. We just get that luck. So we are clean when it comes to injuries. And the San Jose Sharks? Yeah, Steen, post-concussion syndrome, April 23rd. Ferraro, April 18th, and Terry, April 14th. So April 23rd is a little bit away. We might actually be able to get out of that with uh, Alexander Steen. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a few games in without Alex Dean on the on the team, all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, there's been enough vamping. There's been enough waiting. It is time for the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Engage the fans. Uh, what a, yeah, it's off to Thundershock, baby. We're home for game number one. Let's go. Now, where do I have to move this? I got to move it down here for this. Yeah, there it is. All right. So, first period underway, ladies and gentlemen, here in Seattle. What can we do up against the San Jose Sharks? It's the very first playoff format or playoff game here in the franchise of the Seattle Stallions. In Thundershock, the very first playoff game here in Seattle. And Thomas Hurdle is going to score for the San Jose Sharks. So we couldn't even open up the goal scoring here in the playoffs. All right. So six shots uh, to eight. Or eight shots to six in favor of your Stallions. But a one to nothing lead in favor of the Sharks. All right. Come on now, boys. We're going to have to find a way through. Captain Stahl, show these boys what you're made of. All right. Don't lead in the locker room. Lead out there on the ice by example. Score a goal. Power play for San Jose. Goes nowhere. Thatcher Demko kills it off with the penalty killers. Another one for the San Jose Sharks. Goes nowhere. Seattle doing a good job, but there it is. Evander Kane scoring against his former team. Tying up the game at once. Beautiful. All right. So Evander, I'm trusting him. That's why he's got the A. He's on the first line, baby. He can get it done. It's a 1-1 one -one tie. Shots are 19-14 in favor of the Seattle Stallions. So this is looking like a game that we can win. Not even steal. Like, this is an even game. If anything, we're out playing them. They've had a few power plays as well. So Zebras, how about you gift us one back? 15 minutes left here in the third period. Come on now, Seattle. You can do it. You can do it. Nine minutes left. Do we have a hero? No! The Zebras give another power play to the Sharks. But a power play late for the Stallions! Oh, it goes nowhere. And game number one is going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that means. Absolutely. Coach time! Yeah, let's get in there and see how our boys play. So we're going to leave our regular jerseys on. Coach. There you go. Coach mode. Yeah. I got my headset. And let's get on the ice. Come on now. So here we are in Thundershock, baby. Seattle game one overtime up against the Sharks. We've already gone ahead with some line change or with some uh, strategy changes. All right, but let's make sure that we have the right setup. I've already gone through everything behind the net. Normal face off. Yeah, that's all good. Let's go, baby. Our first line out there was Sammy Blay and uh, and uh, Vatnin and Larson. So if I got defensive zone face offs, we know we want to throw the fourth line out there. But let's trust our young man. Sammy Blay does win the face offs. Nice job. Larson up to Kasha. Kasha with the slap shot. 80 slap shot at the blue line. <laughs> Evander! Kasha! I said his name right! And he fucking scores the overtime goal! I'll never call you Kasha again! Kasha! 
And the Seattle Stallions in their very first game, playoff game here at Thundershock. They end up winning it, baby. Yeah. 1-0 series lead. Kane feeds it into the middle. One-timer. Those strats, boys. Those strats. I got in on the four check. <laughs> and the rebound to Kasha. Nice job, buddy. And that is going to get us to game number two with a series lead. That's right, Seabiscuit. We are, in the, we are in the lead in the playoffs. Holy shit. Unbelievable. All right. Let's get to game number two. Okay. So game one goes to your Seattle Stallions. We end up winning in overtime on a nice goal from Kasha. The first line was great. The strategies ended up uh, working out for us. You may not have seen it in the YouTube uh in YouTube mode, but in the Twitch stream, we uh, we took care of all the strategies, and we've also gone through and edited the strategies on the main screen, so they're all going to stay exactly where we want to now, right? I got the computers playing the way I want them to out there when we get to overtime, all right? We have a one nothing series lead. So, uh, game number two in Seattle, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Uh, let's not slow this train down whatsoever. We got, hang on a second, the freaking fans are going to go crazy once I say it. We got old Mo on our team, baby. Momentum is on our side. We believe in ourselves. Let's go. Let's fucking go. All right. Game number two, ladies and gentlemen, underway here in uh, Thundershock. The, th the Thundershock stables hosting game two of the Pacific playoffs. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. Shit. Oh, man. Power play early, though, for the Seattle Stallions uh, goes nowhere. Now, we can always change our power play up a little bit, but... The fact that we only allowed one goal in regulation in game number one against the San Jose Sharks tells me that either they're just not a good team or we're playing really good defensively. So I'm going to keep these lines the way they are. And Josh Anderson is going to open up the goal scoring, followed by Andreas Janssen. So the second line scoring, followed by the third line scoring. And last game, the first line was responsible for the overtime goal. So the chemistry on each line seems to be working out. This team believes in themselves. They want to play for one another. And that's a 2-0 lead after 2 for your Seattle Stallions. All right, boys, here we go. Third period. We have the routine in place. There it is. Can Thatcher Demko with his new Chris Osgood equipment have a great game? That's right. We actually took some time and edited our goaltender's uh, pads after the overtime. Five, th five on three power play late. Five minutes left. Thatcher Osgood Demko! Can he do it? <laughs> Wait. Sammy Blay, yes he does. Thatcher Osgood Demko with his new pads gets himself a shutout, baby. Let's go. Oh man, what do we call him, Oz? We call him freaking Thatcher Demko Oz now? Is that his freaking nickname? Just because of <laughs> his new freaking helmet? I, I, you know, I want to show the fans in, uh, I want to show the YouTube fans this. Hang on, it'll take two seconds. We, we got him good, boys. Edit player, Thatcher Demko. All right, he's, he is a story right now because uh, Grice, the starting goaltender of the other team, he, he, uh, Thatcher started the year as the backup to Grice, right? So hang on a second. Let me just bring him up. Let me bring him up. He looks sexy now, ladies and gentlemen. If we get another overtime game, we get to look at Thatcher Demko. Look at him. Boom. Boom. That's Oz, baby. Thatcher Oz Demko. <laughs> Oh, man, he looks sweet. He looks good in those uh, those greens. Let's go. I'll get your donations and subs after the uh, after the uh, the YouTube part of this, boys. I want to keep it going. We got old Mo on our side. So here we go. Game number three in San Jose. We got to travel down the Pacific coast to California to face off against the Sharks. Come on, baby. Here we go. Game three underway. Tis in the hands of the gods. Man, are we going to be able to just romp and stomp the San Jose Sharks? Like, we, if you take away the 1 in 10 start that we had, we were a really good team. I know it's the Pacific, so we're going up against other Pacific teams over and over again, unlike the Atlantic. But, you know, we don't have to worry about the East till the Stanley Cup Finals. So, this is what I mean. This could be a very interesting year for this team. We have the chemistry. If we have a goaltender and we have a team that just simulates well, like, look at this. Bugstad on the third line now. Third line's chipping in. We have penalty killers, but the chemistry. A 3-5-3 chemistry in year number one with nothing but 80 overalls. Josh Anderson. I mean, Josh Anderson's playing like an Evander Kane with a plus five. Evander Kane on the first line's playing like an 88 overall, right? Like, we do have that depth if the chemistry is really 
um, weighted heavily for production when it comes to the real-time simulation. I mean, we have what we need. But Logan Couture gets his Sharks back within one. Now, this is a huge game, ladies and gentlemen. All right, for a new team like us, this is the difference between a 3-0 series lead and a 2-1 series lead. This is the difference from you having the series and your opponent by the throat and you letting that slip between your fingers. Because if they win this game, they win the next game, all of a sudden it's a 2-2 series tie. Plenty of teams have gone up 2-0 in a series to lose 4 straight or 4 out of the next 5, right? So come on now. Hold on to this win. Power play for the San Jose Sharks goes nowhere. The penalty killers and Thatcher Demko do a great job. 11 minutes left, power play for Seattle. I like to see it goes nowhere, though. The Seattle Stallions, oh, and Timo Meyer is going to tie up the game for the San Jose Sharks, the power forward that was kept, and we got ourselves another overtime game. God damn it. My voice is going to be gone by the time of this playoff run, especially the further that we go. So let's jump into it, ladies and gentlemen. Game three, overtime. So here we are in San Jose, game three, overtime. Who's going to step up? We have our first forward line and our first defensive pairing up against theirs. Who's going to step up and uh, and steal the show here? Is it a 3-0 series lead or is it a 2-1 series lead for game four? Here come the Stallions. Kasha, overtime hero in game one. Back to Kane. Back to Larson. Shoot it. I've told my defensemen to shoot the puck. I want them to shoot it. Evander Kane, what are you doing on the four check right there, my man? You could have got that puck. Here come the Sharks back the other way, but Sammy Vatanen, great job. All right, let's change it up. Full change. Sammy, do it your job. Get the puck in deep. Yeah, Sammy. Sammy doing a great job. Sammy! Young Croc! Oh, a great save by Thomas Grice. Yeah, Sammy Vatanen did a great job getting his uh, team into the zone, allowing two changes. Oh, there's Osgood. There's Thatcher Osgood, baby, right there with his new helmet. Go, Anderson! It's a partial break, 2 on one Josh Anderson tries. Josh Anderson! Oh, he hit the post! He hit the post! Oh, my God. Seattle could have taken a 3-0 series lead right there, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. We got to get back. I'm not going for a line change yet. Oh, behind. Oh, great. Josh Anderson gets back, though, for the back check to help out. There you go. Change it up. Andreas Janssen across the blue. Snippity-doo on Thomas Grice. All right. So, let's go. Because Bjugstad ain't great face-off, man. I'm going to go Dubinsky. I want this offensive zone face-off. Let's see if Dubinsky can win a draw, get it back to Heed and hate check, and I've told my defenseman to shoot the puck. I can even t I can tell him to shoot with RB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm winning it straight back to the D guys, and then I'm telling him to shoot the puck. Why the hell are we looking in the center? What the hell? Here we go. Shoot it! Bang! <laughs> That's what I want. That's playoff hockey right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Dubinsky, get your ass back out there and do it again. Do it again. Win that face off, and I'm telling him to shoot up against Thomas Hurdle. Hurdle's a sniper. Dubinsky, this is what I picked you up for. I got myself a first and a face off, man. Let's go. Oh, but Thomas Hurdle's going to win that draw. All right. Uh, third line. Switch it up. Coming back on the back check. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Oh, man. You know what? That was a bad line change. That was a bad line change. That was, you know what? Stupid line change right there. Our boys did not get back quick enough. That, that could have that cost, uh, cost us. Uh, first line defensive pairing. All right, and we have our third line forward core out there. Come on, boys. Down low. He just throws a Bjugstad. Fire that Bjugstad. Back to the point. If you need a one-time, shoot it. There you go. Just, oh, it's tipped on front. Oh, I love the fact that I can tell him to shoot. So when I see a guy on his forehand, oh, I'm telling him to shoot that shit, dude. Every goddamn time. Dubinsky again. Dubinsky again with the third line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's freshen up our first line. Let's freshen up this first line. Dubinsky, look, Hurdle's tired. Dubinsky, you got to win that draw, baby. You got to win that draw. I'm taking that RB and I'm shooting the puck. Dubinsky. Oh, he loses it again to Hurdle. What are you doing? That's your one fucking job, Dubinsky. I should have put somebody else out there. LeBanc, across the blue. Oh, God, he's got a shark back door. Oh, great defensive play. Let's get the first line out there. Second line defensive pairing. There you go, Dubinsky. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. EA. Oh, I tell him to dump it in. He fires it off the fucking stanchion. Oh, god damn, yay. All right, all right, relax. We got Sammy Blay out there, and we have our second-line defensive pairing also. Ah, uh, man, they're doing a good job winning every face-off are the San Jose Sharks. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking to see that. Shillington, the former Stallion. Back to the point. Oh, uh, and the Shillington, uh, Su Sumela? Radil, I mean, look at these fucking names. I don't know who the hell these are. Gregor, oh, Thatcher Demko. Oz with the save. Back to Sumela. Back to game. I don't even know these names, man. Gregor, how the hell are they cycling it on us? There you go. Let's get it out, boys. Let's get it out. Fourth line again. Here we go. Evander. Give your team a chance. Oh, Evander against his old former town. That would have been nice. That's all right, though. We got a clean change, and they're going to dump it and go for a change as well. Uh, leave the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Larson to Vatanen. There you go. My first line defensive pairing. Doing a good job. Get that puck out. Dump in chase by Dubinsky. 
Dubinsky's still out there on the fourth line, I think so. Oh, there it is, Vitrano! Oh, the fourth line with the dump and chase. Barkley Goudreau's in there. Don't take a penalty, you fucking idiot. Good lord. Here goes, uh, Rattle. Rattle centers. Oh my god, but both of our defensemen there. Second line defensive pairing, third line defensive, uh, uh, string. Goudreau. Waiting for his teammates. There it is, Goudreau! Fucking shoot it! Okay, I'm gonna tell him to shoot. Shoot now. Bang! Whoa! Get on front of the net, boys. I need guys. I, I gotta remember to tell them to shoot. That is so weird. I'm not used to that, but I'll tell them. Okay, so offensive zone face off. Stall. I'm gonna take a chance with Stall here. All right, let's see if we can get it. Uh, stall out there with our second line defensive pairing. All right, we have our one timer set up on the uh, the right side with our sec second line defensive pairing. Come on, Stall. Win that face off. Up against our fourth fucking line. Oh my god, they're killing us in the face off circle, man. They are killing us in the face-off circle. We've had lots of puck possessions just lost. And they could get the puck and get a good shot here. Get back. Oh, no. This guy who won the face-off. You're to Cannon or whatever his name is. What are we doing? Come on now. Sherratt. Move it up. Move it up. Move it up. Move it up. There you go. Over to stall. Eric. Going to dump that puck in. Get on the puck there. Is that uh, Cali Yarncroft? There you go. Josh Anderson forechecking. Eric Carlson. Yarncroft spins. Oh, my gosh. Shoot. Bang. Oh, blocked in front by Eric Stahl. Oh, my God. This damn AI blocking their own shots. I can't go for a line change yet. Puck's in deep. Are they? Oh, Jesus. Yurtikin. Yurtikin. Who is this guy? He's all over the ice right now winning face-offs. Oh, my God. Yurtikin. Who the fuck is this 75 overall plug on the fourth line tearing it up for them? Come on. Get it off of Yurtikin. There you go. First line. First line. First line, everybody. First line. Jesus, Yurtikin. Oh, no, no, just get it in deep, you fool. Oh, my God. Just dump the button. Is there a dump button? Can I tell the AI to dump it in? Oh, Couture, into the middle. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the San Jose Sharks are back in this series. What the fuck was that, Seattle? Oh, my God. Our players played like absolute shit. We had Eric Stahl, our second line, fresh. Matched up against their fourth line in the offensive zone. And they win the faceoff and it goes back the other way and it leads to that goal. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this series is all... I mean, it might as well be tied up. It's a series again. What are you idiots doing right here? Logan, I mean, what? Vatnin, you lose this puck battle right there with Perot. He jumps in. Go down, Oscar. All right. 2-1 series lead. Okay, so after three games, it's unfortunate that we're not up 3 nothing in this series. I really felt like we could have won that, but we just, it was the face-offs. We just couldn't get the puck, and then we were scrambling. Their fourth line actually took it to our second line, in that, and that led to the goal. So that's unfortunate, but uh, that's playoff hockey, ladies and gentlemen. So we tweaked our strategies a little bit more to get more traffic on front of the net. I've got to do a better job to, the, the, the guys were telling me I can tell the team to dump it by hitting RB before the blue line and tell them to shoot it by hitting RB at the after the blue line. So i got to start to send the puck on the net a lot more, all right? But it's still a 2-1 series lead for your Stallions, so that's, uh, that's good news. Still in San Jose for game number four, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. This is the difference between a 3-1 series lead for your Stallions and a 2-2 series tie with Old Mo in the side of the Sharks. So I'm not liking that. So come on now, Seattle. There you go. Kasha, our big-time playoff performer so far. An overtime goal in game number one and the uh, the go-ahead goal, the, the, the first goal of the game here in game number four. Kasha is scoring some big-time goals for us. All right, that's a one nothing lead. However, the San Jose Sharks are out shooting us 13-7 to after the first 20 minutes. So this could be a simulation where they're actually playing better than we are, and Thomas Hurdle is going to score right as I say that. Uh, followed by Thomas, oh, on the power play, Logan Kutcher! And the San Jose Sharks have decided to open up the goal scoring. See, this is what I was afraid of. They were due. They were due for a goal or a game like this where they explode. We're not exactly a top-tier team just yet. Um, that's why that overtime game, you know, we, we, we needed to win that one. We needed to make it a 3 nothing series lead because it's about to be a 2-2 series tie. And uh, anything can happen in that. Oh, man, I'm not liking that. All right, game's not over yet, though. Game is not over just yet. Can we find a way to fight back? Third period underway. All we need is a quick one before, like, the 10-minute mark, and we can turn this into a good game. We don't get that one. By oh, we do! Eric Stahl, 10:49 left, right at the 10-minute mark. It's a game now. 
We can push this, uh, the San Jose Sharks for five minutes. Four minutes left. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. One minute. Come on. Oh, and Thomas Grice is going to hold on. And that's a 2-2 series tie. Oh no. Things were looking so good. We had a three, we had a, we had a one goal lead in game three. We were on the brink of going up 3-0 in the series, and now back-to-back 3-2 losses. It's a 2-2 series tie. Oh, no team got swept in the playoffs this year, ladies and gentlemen. But old Mo is certainly not with us any longer. Old Mo is on the side of the San Jose Shark. And oh my god, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, they fought back. The AHL, uh, our AHL affiliate, down 3-2 in the series, ends up winning two in a row, and they are off to round number two. So good. So the Burnaby Aces are uh, are doing their job down there. Good, good, good. Because we want Sprong, we want Malkin, we want Reyes, we want all those guys to improve for year number two. So that's good. All right, so it's right back to square one. 2-2 series tie. All right, it's now best of the three. Come on, boys. Uh, I might want to think about moving up Eric Stahl to the first line as well, boys. Now, their two wins have been one overtime game and a 3-2 win. So, I mean, they haven't been beating us convincingly. But if we need that extra boost, we might have to move Eric Stahl up. All right? We might have to. All right. So, let me just get to game number five here, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping as an underdog we could make something happen in the playoffs. But you know what? The San Jose Sharks are even an, a bigger underdog, right? They trade, they, they traded away all their veterans and they're still in the playoffs. Hino Stroza scoring on the third line. Damn, we had, look at this. We had eight shots, one goal before they even registered a shot on Thatcher Demko. Kasha, yes, Kasha. His third goal in five games. Kasha's doing a great job for Seattle. Get to the end of the first, Demko. Get to the end of the first, Demko. Just get to the end of the first. Get to intermission and let the coaches take over. There you go. All right. So a 2 nothing lead through the first period. I like to see that, but we're going to need some more offense here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now, Seattle. Don't let this get away from yourselves. 15 minutes left here in the second period. Power play for the San Jose Sharks. A yarn crock ends up scoring right after the power play. Another power play. Five on three. Oh, Hurdle's going to score as the five on three ends. He gets it on the five on four. So we're back to even strength, only conceding one goal. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. And we're getting to the end of the second period. And that's why that big goal by yarn crock is huge. We have the routine in place. Routine in place. Can we get a 3-1 series lead? Come on now, Demko. I need you, my man. Third period underway. Come on, Stallions. Power play. I, oh, my God. A shorthanded goal. But Yarncroc gets the power play. So it's a net zero. It's an even. It's even. Pretend nothing happened. Nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Good job, Yarncroc. His second goal of the game. Yes! Hat trick for Yarncroc! Give that guy a raise. I'm buying him dinner tonight. Callie Yarncroc with a hat trick in a huge game five. Oh, ice in his veins, ladies and gentlemen. Kelly Yarny Yarncroc, the Yarnster. He comes through for us. Good job, Yarny. He scored his hat trick from fucking center ice. Jesus. Yeah, baby. Blasting it past Thomas Grice. See, he, he learned something in practice against Grice uh, throughout the years. Oh my god. All right, so that gives us three chances to get by the San Jose Sharks. That's perfect. That is perfect. The AHL playoff round is complete. Yeah, yeah, we know that. And uh, let's see. Florida got by Tampa. Washington got by Boston. Two Atlantic teams are out. Vancouver is out. Oh, sorry, Vancouver. Sorry. All right, rest Demko? You're crazy. No, 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 no. Why would you rest Demko? We got to get this series over and done with now. We can't chance a game seven. We got to get this over right now. A 3-2 series lead for your Seattle Stallions, ladies and gentlemen. All right, come on. Game six in San Jose. The very first playoff series ever for the Seattle Stallions. Can they get a, a, a playoff series victory in their first attempt to the playoffs? That would be fantastic. On the road, too. Power play early for San Jose. Goes nowhere. Good job, Demko. Good job, penalty killers. 13 minutes left. Come on now, boys. Come on. I got to take it easy. We could have three more rounds of this. Jesus. There you go. Kasha with the goal. His fourth goal in six games. Kasha is unreal. And Eric Stahl, the captain, giving us a huge uh, uh, ball breaker of a goal for San Jose. Great uh, goal for us, though. 
Eric Stahl gives us that goal to give us a 2-0 lead before the end of the first period. Come on now, boys. Come on now, boys. Second period. Underway. What do the Seattle Stallions have in store for the San Jose Sharks? Power play. Halfway through the game, another power play for Seattle. Five on three. Look at the Zebras. They want, they've been paid off by Gary Bettman. I want to see the expansion team succeed just like the Vegas Golden Knights. But wait a minute, Thomas Hurdle gets his team back within one. Oh no. I don't want a game seven, ladies and gentlemen. I do not want this team to have to go to seven and get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done right now, Seattle. All right? If we're going to win the Stanley Cup, and I know that's a tall order, it's games like this that you just need to squash. Any kind of comeback, any kind of momentum that they may have, you need to squash and get the series done and over with right now. This is the time to show up, everybody. Third period, underway. Stahl, Kane, Vatnin, Demko. All right, my major players, my big-time performers. Come on, what do you guys have for me? 14 minutes left. Come on, San Jose. No, I mean, not San Jose. I want in Seattle. God damn it. Alexander Steen, he ends up tying up the game, coming back from that injury from the Sharks. He ends up tying it up with three minutes left, two minutes left, one minute left. Oh, my God. And once again, we are going to overtime. Game one, overtime. Game three, overtime game six overtime both teams have had a playoff hero so far who's gonna get it here in game six do we have a game seven on our hands or are the seattle stallions going off to round number two let's go so here we are in san jose baby up against the sharks and we have overtime if the stallions whoa wait a minute kase backhand oh looking for another overtime goal if we can end up winning this game, we're off to round two. If the Sharks can get a goal, it's a game seven. Oh, no. Shillington to four. Oh, my God. The former Stallion. Don't do this to me. Dubinsky, fourth uh, fourth line. Get out there. Same thing with Heed. Get out there, boys. Win that face off and get the puck deep. We'll quickly change it up. All right. Up against Logan, though. But Dubinsky is fresh. Come on now. Defense his own face off. Defense his own face off. Dubinsky wins it. That's what I needed. All right. Quick line change. Quick line change. Now, if I could tell him to dump it. Sweet. Wait, you, you, Kudra, you just dumped it. Go for a change, buddy. Yeah, that's nice and easy. See, you go from defense to offense just like that. And my neutral zone is it's a little bit more pressure for them. Logan Couture, though, he's walking right in. Gets that wrist shot off. Chirot, he's going to break it up. All right, got a second line. Going to keep them out there. Let's see what they can do. Oh, uh, Yarncroft, Anderson. Hey, that's going to be offside. Yep, that's going to be offside. San Jose Sharks do a good job. Might want to dump that. Oh, wait a minute. Anderson, though. Oh, the four check. And Grice forced into a one-timer. That could have been the series right there. Sammy Blay, get back out there. Who's better, Blay or Bjugstad? I'm going to go with Blay. I'm going to give Sammy Blay the chance. First line in the offensive zone. They got Thomas Hurdle, who actually won a lot of face-offs in the last uh, overtime frame. Come on, Sammy. Win that face-off for the team. Ah, Hurdle is really good at face-offs. Holy shit. I got to go up against somebody better. At face-offs when I'm going up against Thomas Hurdle. Holy crap, man. Davidson loses the puck. Sammy Blay with the great breakout. Evander Kane against his old team. What a story this would be. Finds the opening. Oh, Sammy Blay into the middle. And Thomas Grice is going to make a huge save again. Back to back. I mean, remember these saves in overtime. If the San Jose Sharks can force a game seven, I'm not liking this. All right, get ready to shoot. I've told my team to crash the net. Bjugstad, win that face. He does. Shoot it. Bang! Oh, get on front of the net, boys. Get on front of the net. Yeah, Bjugstad, do that dance right in Grice's face. Why not? Get that freaking one-timer off. A little bit lower would be nice, though. Don't let him just cuff that. I want a rebound. Face off. Bjugstad, try... Ugh, don't take a penalty! Don't take a penalty! Stop hooking! Stop slashing, you fool! Holy shit, that was close. Here come the Sharks. One-on-one. -on -one. Hurdle! Clapper! Good save by Thatcher Demko. He's gonna have to hold that puck. Dubinsky, it's your turn. Come on, Dubinsky. I got you out there for that fourth line uh, uh, defensive zone face-off. It's up against Thomas Hurdle. Again, their second line is tired, but Hurdle's a good face-off, man. Come on, Dubinsky. Oh, my God. Thomas Hurdle is fantastic. Yeah. Hits him in the back. Good job. Third line. First line defensive pairing. Let's go, boys. Frank Vitrano. Just waiting for his team to get in the zone. Back to Bjugstad. Vitrano! Oh, my God. He could have slid it in Crosby style right there if he was just a little bit further up. Hurdle is going to break it up for the San Jose Sharks, and here come the Sharks. They got some space on the left wing. 
Uh, cutting back. Oh my god. Oh! How did Gregor get behind my defense? What are we doing? It's the fourth line again. This freaking third or fourth line for San Jose tears us up. I need Dubinsky out there again. This Gregor line with fucking uh, Yukitina or whatever his damn name is. Sumila, Gregor, and Radil on the third line. How are they tearing us up? They play better with this line. Oh, Dubinsky, there you go. You win the faceoff. Second line, stall. Second line, get. Can I tell him to dump it? No, I can't tell him to dump it. It doesn't work. I tried. Yarny, Clapper, oh, get out of the way. Oh, my God. My own team. I tell them to crash the net. They are crashing the net, and then they just dunk over deflection. They just stand there like a fucking shot blocker. That's awesome. Our captain, Eric Stahl, trying to get on Sumela. Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Come on, guy. Where, where's the defense helping him out? Why are they Why are they getting nudged and still being able to hold the puck behind the zone? Come on. What? Oh, I got to change the strats. I'm not liking this. Kelly Yarncroc across the blue line. Looking for an opening. Uh, pass that puck. Pass it. Oh, there it is. Yarncroc walks in. Rebound. Oh, put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Yarncroc. Take the shot. Risto! Oh, my God. It was right underneath Grice. But he's going to smother it for a save. <laughs> Come on, Yarncroc. He had a short side shot, and then he had a far side shot. Uh, okay, it's Sorensen, Yolonen, and Yurta Kanan. Come on, I got my first line out there. Sammy Blay, Larson! Oh, I told him to shoot. I don't care, I'm telling him to shoot as soon as they get it. I don't care if it gets blocked. I need the I need the, the shot. I need old Mo. Shoot it! Oh, God damn it, get out of the way. Just keep shooting, I don't care. Bang! Uh, pass that to Kane. Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh, I'm telling him to shoot like maniacs. Grice is making saves left and right, though. Yurtekin is going to break it. Okay, okay. Third. Wait, 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 wait. Are we out? Oh, my God. You idiot. Oh, my God. And I went for a line change. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You suck. You fucking suck. This game, fuck it. I shouldn't have gone for a line change. But holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Like, make a decision. Now you're going to pass? Why not just pass it right? Why not just stay in the backhand and fucking... Oh, my bad. I shouldn't have made a lie. I should, I should wait until the goddamn computers can navigate the boards. He knows throws a, across the blue. Shoot him! That's a penalty! You can't do... Okay, okay. Power play. No, no. Where is he? Manage teams. Where is he? Manage teams. Call a timeout, motherfucker. Hell yeah. We're calling a timeout. Power play number one. Yup. Overload. Face off. Uh, aggressive. Uh, uh, collapsing. No, 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 no. High pressure, every ting. Every ting is high pressure. Push now. Push now. All right, here we go, boys. We got them out. I got heat out. Oh, I, I must have pushed my second line defensive barrier. That's okay. That's okay. They'll be fine. Stall, win the face off. Kane. No, don't take a penalty. You fucking stop hooking. God damn it, EA. You got to program a better four check. Why do they hook? Stupid animation. All right, so I told these guys to get back on the breakout. Here we go. Stally. Up to Kane. Yes. All right, come on, Kane. Let's make a better pass than that next time. There you go. Over to Eric Stahl. Shoot it. Ah, oh, come on. Stop just walking in. It's a power play. Set it up. Stop playing like it's five on five. Break your programming. All right, listen to GM Superb Man and my strategy. Cycle it. Kane. Oh! And the Seattle Stallions are off to round number two. We did it, boys. Yeah. In our expansion year, Eric Stahl and Evander Kane. They, I mean, it was a shitty goal. I don't care, though. In uh, Thundershock, well, no, the fans in Thundershock, it's still sold out. They're on, their, they're on their feet cheering, but here in San Jose, the Stallions got the job done. Round one in the books. The Stallions are off to round number two. Congratulations, boys. We got it done in six fucking games. And I got my first line out there. They answered back. They crashed the net. Thank God I can tell the computers to shoot it. Oh, wow. It opens up so much more offense. All right. So we did it. We freaking did it. Let's jump to round number two. Okay, so six games. And that is a playoff series victory for your Seattle Stallions. Who would have thought this? Starting the year 1-10. Come back, make the playoffs. And we're also off to round number two. The Seattle Stallions are in the Elite Eight 
in the 2019-2020 NHL season. I mean, that's that's freaking fantastic, man. Freaking fantastic. Let's see who did what for us here in the playoffs. We know that... Uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Ka Kasha. He got a lot of big-time goals for us. But look at Yarnkrok. Yarny came through with the Eric Stahl and Anderson line. Nine points in six games played. That's that's awesome. Eric Stahl with the big-time overtime winner there in uh, in game six to defeat the San Jose Sharks. Anderson as well. So that, that second line with the plus five. They are doing awesome right now. Uh, Sammy Blay, all right, so the first line could be a little bit better. We might want to think about moving up these guys, but remember, the reason they're doing so good is because they got that plus five, right? I want to continue to give them that plus five. But if we get into a, a rough situation down by two in a series or an elimination game, I think we will be moving Eric Stahl up to the first line. Uh, Kase, four goals. Holy shit. Kasha, not Kase. Kasha, four goals, zero assists. So the guy wasn't uh, getting any apples out there, but that's all right. Big time goals too. Big time goals. Not like he was scoring in a 5-2 game to make it 6-2, right? Big time goals. Uh, defenseman, uh, Dahan. All right, so not too many points out of our defensive core, but that's okay. And then goaltenders, that's your down. What the hell? I didn't get these kind of numbers with Boston. He's an 80 overall goaltender. How? It's got to be just the San Jose Sharks, right? I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's the reason why my goaltender stats were so shit with Boston. I, just, I was always going up against Atlantic Division teams. You want a good goaltender uh, stats? Go up against Pacific Division teams, right? Oh, my God. All right, so that being that, let us uh, simulate into the next round to see who we are going up against. And we have the... Min oh! Oh! We have a trip through the first and second round with facing two teams that didn't get more than 38 wins. 38 fucking wins. The San Jose Sharks had like 38, and now the Minnesota Wild had 38. Wow. So it was Kane's old team. Now it's up against Eric Stahl's old team, the team that we drafted him from the expansion. This might be the easiest trip to the goddamn conference finals I've ever seen in my life. The San Jose Sharks followed up by the Minnesota Wild. We can beat them. We can beat them, boys. The fuck happened in the playoffs this year? Oh, my God. Hang on. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look. The playoffs are all, all over the place. Uh, all right. So, Chicago beat Winnipeg. Dallas beat Colorado. Yes. Uh, that's huge for us. Uh, Minnesota beat uh, Van... I would have rather face Minnesota than Vancouver, to be honest. They don't have stall. Like, who's their first line center? Miku Koivu? You know, unless they picked up somebody. Washington beat Boston. That's really good. Uh, 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 Philly beat Carolina. All right. I would have taken either one of those teams. B Buffalo beat Toronto. <laughs> yeah, right. And Florida beat Tampa. I mean, uh, in one round, you got Boston, Toronto, and Tampa out of there. That's crazy. That's crazy. This could be our year. I'm telling you. We might be able to steal a Stanley Cup early and just never be able to win it again. But this could be our year. This could be our fucking year. And what about the team that we're going up against here? Hang on a second. Uh, the team that we're going up against. View lines. What do we got? What do we got here in the Minnesota Wild? I'm not, I don't think they're very good. I really don't. Like Parise. Okay, so I, I know Parise is going to be good because even though he's older, he's still got those good offensive numbers. So he's good. Galchenyuk and Zuccarello. The fuck? Three playmakers? Ha! There's no way they have chemistry. There's no way. Maybe a plus one. Maybe a plus one. But there's no way they have chemistry. Johnny, stop cursing. Crap. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got to worry about demonetization. Sorry, sorry. Kevin Fiala. All right, that's dangerous. Eric Snack. Sniper, sniper. Two way for it. There's no way that's good chemistry. Third line. Uh, JT Brown, two way forward. Luke Coonan, two way forward. Ryan Hartman, two way forward. All right, that could be a plus three if they all max out. And Jordan Greenway, power forward. Uh, two way forward and uh, Marcus Polina power. All right, I mean, it may be a good defensive team. Sometimes the uh, teams built like this actually keep the puck out of the net, but I don't see any offense like Parise. Fiala's good, but he's only 84 in this game defensively. All right, they might be able to keep the puck out of the net. Ryan Suter, defensive defense. Yeah, they might be built for defense. They have a you know what? They have a pretty good defensive core. Suter and Dumba, and then Spurgeon is a two way in this game, and Brodine is a two way as well. So, yeah, they got four really good defensemen, and they could have the plus two, plus, uh, not plus two, but uh, two of the lines could have like a plus one or a plus three. So, the blue line's looking good. Special teams, power play, Parise. I mean, I'm just not, I'm not convinced they're going to be able to score goals, but can we score? And they have Devin Dubnik in the net. 
All right. I mean, I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but the fact that, like, I would I would have taken this. I would have taken this. If, like, if you ask me, San Jose in round one, Minnesota. If you get by San Jose, you'll have Minnesota round two. I would have taken this. I think we have the two worst teams, including us, with, like, the three worst teams in the Western Conference. And we get to face off against two of them before getting to the final four. You know? That is, I mean, this is... This is the complete opposite of what we had with the Boston Bruins in the Atlantic. We have the complete... We're going up against the worst of the NHL instead of the best. This is awesome. All right, so let's send to the next game. Let's see if uh, the Minnesota Wild have any injuries. Then we can start the sucker up. Injury report. Let's see. Uh, Seattle. So we're still good. Hopefully that stays where it needs to stay. And the Minnesota Wild, they are clear of injuries as well. So no problems there. All right, now the uh, the fans in the chat are asking for the AHL update. All right, so AHL, our AHL team is into round number two, and they have a 2 nothing series lead, so they're doing their job down there. We just want them to grow so that uh, our boys can have a really good season. All right, and uh, let me just save the game because I saved it before we jumped ahead. Uh, let me just save the game again. Overwrite the current save file. There we go, because we'll, I want to make sure that these teams have made it through. All right, so uh, you know what? Let me just do, do one thing. And then we can jump to round two. Hang on one second. All right. So here we go. I am ready. I took care of what I needed to take care of. Round two up against the Minnesota Wild. Eric Stahl. Captain Stahl. The guy who got the overtime winner in game six up against the San Jose Sharks. It's just, it's, it's against his old team. All right. Carolina, I think, has already been eliminated by the Philadelphia Flyers in the, uh, in the East. All right. So... I know I don't think Minnesota did anything wrong to, uh, to Eric Stahl. They didn't protect him in the expansion draft. But still, he can face off against some of his old teammates, all right? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a pretty uh, a pretty good matchup here for round two. I would take this. Another team with less than 40 wins. Hell yeah, man. This is a perfect division to be in with an expansion team, I gotta say. So here we go. Game number one in Thunder Shock in Seattle. It's a power play early for your Stallions, and it goes nowhere there. We had a long one there. Devin Dubnik and the penalty killers from the Minnesota Wilds end up killing it off. And I think when looking at their team on paper, I think that is the tale of the tape. Um, they're not a team that is going to overwhelm us with goal scoring. Now, they might. We might just start playing like shit, but I think they're a team that's going to be able to keep the puck out of the net more than they're going to be able to score. So um, as long as we can keep the puck out of the net and compete with them on that front, I think overall we'll uh, perform better. But if they can score on us, that's the problem. Now here's the, yeah, if we get the first goal of the game, that's huge for us. Yarn Croc scores. Power play goes nowhere. Power play for Minnesota. And there you go. Ryan Donato, two-way forward on the third line, fourth line, somewhere down there. A third or fourth line filled with two-way forwards, but yeah, only a 1-1 game through, what is it, 40 minutes of play? About to be. And yes, 1-1 through two periods, all right, but look at that, it's 26 shots to 15 in favor of the Minnesota Wild. So they are, they are shooting the puck on us, but is it just greasy type of shots? They don't have that skill type of shot now. This is a huge game, man. I Even though they look like a team that we can compete with, I still, we know the real-time sim can go either direction. Even if we had the best team in the NHL right now, I, w I wouldn't feel comfortable. We want to take game one. We want to win these games, all right? So come on, Osgood, Demko, uh, 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 Stahl against your old team, Evander Kane, Vatten, and the veterans. I need you guys. Steal game one. Steal game one. Third period. Underway. The Minnesota Wild are out shooting the Seattle Stallions almost by double. But a power play late for Seattle. Goes nowhere. D Dubnik kills it off. Now a power play for the Minnesota Wild. Demko kills it off. Five minutes left. Four minutes left. Oh my god. Yes, Tim Heed. Heed. Tim Heed steals it for the freaking Seattle Stallions, baby. And game one goes to Seattle. Tim Heed, you beautiful bastard. We avoid overtime and we steal the game. We really came together there in the third period. Look at the shots. 31 to 28. They almost uh, had double the amount of shots at the beginning of the third period. That is massive. Tim Heed, great job, buddy. Great job. Game one goes to Seattle. <sighs> Man, I'm feeling really confident about this squad. We are keeping the puck out of the net. So, um, my uh, my prediction on the strategy came through. Uh, came true. You know, uh, it's gonna be hard to score on these guys, but they don't have the offense to counter that. And if we can just win games, you know, one to nothing, two to one, three to two, I'm fine with that. So uh, let's go. Game number two. No line changes necessary. Come on. Let's just let's just get out on front of these Minnesota Wild. We're like the 2012 LA Kings. 
All right, and once we start playing in the playoffs, we just start to believe in one another. All of a sudden, we are a great team. Power play for the Minnesota Wild early to start the game, and Ryan Donato is going to score again. So two goals scored for Minnesota, and both of them coming from the bottom six, Ryan Donato. Evander Kane, though. Man, he's been great so far in the playoffs. He's got some big-time points. Manning that first line with Sammy Blay and, uh, and uh, Kasha. Allowing Eric Stahl to perform with Anderson and Yarncroc on the second line. Our top six is great. So it's a 1-1 tie after the first period. Shots are even, 13-12. Second period underway. Another power play for the Minnesota Wilds. Killed off by Demko and the boys. Another one for the Minnesota Wilds. Oh, shorty for Brendan Dubinsky. It's a long goddamn power play as well. But the trade deadline acquisition, which netted a, a draft lottery pick and a fourth line faceoff taker, just gave us a shorthanded goal. In the second round to give us a 2-1 lead in game number two. What a trade that was. What a trade that was. Unbelievable. And it also freed up all that cap space from Adam Henrique. Unbelievable trade that was, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Third period. The, 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 uh, not the routine, but the playbook. You know, the, the strategy for this round. It's in place. A 2-1 lead going into the third. Can we win this game? 3-1, uh, 2-1, to 3-2, three to to something like that, right? Come on now, boys. Hold on to it. Third period underway in Thundershock. Oh, man, we're taking a lot of penalties. But a kill off by the, 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 the boys and Demko. Ah, Luke Koonin on the third line. Yeah, I think Koonin's third line and Donato's fourth line. So the third and fourth line center only responsible for all their goals. Power play late for Seattle. Goes nowhere. A 2-2 tie. Is there another late goal here? Come on. Oh, my God. How many games are going to overtime? Well, game two. Got to jump in there again, ladies and gentlemen. My God. So, here we are, game in Thundershock in Seattle. We have our D-Generation X jerseys on, baby. The alternates, because Minnesota's rocking those greens, so we might as well walk, uh, rock the blacks. Oh, gosh, I take that shot. All right, so I got to tell our boys to shoot the puck. That and shoot the puck, baby. I'm crashing the net. Shoot the puck when you're on your forehand. <gasps> Kane! Oh, right there on front. Almost gets the goal. And here come the Wild. Back the other way. These damn playmakers on the first line. Zach Parise. Back to the point. Come on now. Get, oh, Galchenyuk with a slap shot in the middle of the slot. We do not want that to happen. Come on now, Evander. Gets it up the boards. That's a two-on-one rush. Play! Wrist. Oh, what a save by Devin Dubnik. Sammy Blay was right there, dude. I'm going to go with Eric Stahl and our second-line defensive pairing. Oh, Sammy Blay, you were right in the slot. Just ring that sucker off the bar. But we got a face-off in the offensive zone. It's Stahl up against Galchenyuk. Galchenyuk's going to win the face-off. Stahl against his old team. Come on, dude. Zach Parise, he's going to find Matt Zuccarello. Zook dangles into the inside, but Josh Anderson on the back check. Great job, Joshy. Cal Yarncroc, Yarny across the blue, finds Anderson, finds Yarncroc. Shoot it! Oh, it's going in. It was going to blocked in front by Suter. Ryan Suter, the great job by the defenseman to not allow that puck through. Uh, no, we're not going to go for a line change. What a great defensive play right there, keeping his team alive. Kevin Fiala, Eric Stahl. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, don't go for a line change yet. We have to make sure that we break the puck out. Calvin DeHaan is getting four-checked. He loses it. Galchenyuk! Oh, he centers it. Thank God, that thing whistled wide. Let's get the third line defensive pairing. Third line uh, uh, forward core out there as well. Uh, back to Andres Janssen. Fire it. Oh, what's with the pass? I wanted you to shoot it. The sauce pass to Nowheresville. Uh, 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 uh. And Minnesota is going to pick it up behind the net. Brodine going to get it up to Miku Koivu, the captain. Across the blue line. He's got some space. I don't like it. Where's our back checkers? There you go, Janssen. Fires it up to Hino Stroza. He's got some space. Over Back over to Janssen. Into the middle of the Hino. Hino Stroza. Back to the point. Shoot that. He tip. Bang! I want that. I don't care. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Back to the point. Janssen's right in the slot. Take that shot. Deflection in front. Almost got it. Almost got it. All right, Dubinsky, fourth line for the faceoff up against Luke Kunin. I know he's a good faceoff man as well. But Dubinsky, face, shoot it. Larson. Oh! That's what I want. I want those greasy overtime goals, man. All right, just send the puck on the net. When we're in here in overtime, it doesn't need to be a highlight reel goal. All right, everything on the net. Go to the net. Everything on the net. Win that faceoff again, Dub uh, Dubinsky. Come on. Oh, faceoff won by Galchenyuk that time. Or it was somebody else. Hartman is probably their third line. Oh, Kunin, Kunin. Dumps it in. Man, EA, you've got to program dump and chases better. That didn't even hit the stanchion. That thing just clearly cleared the fucking, uh, uh, what's it called? The glass? Good God. Dubinsky loses the face off to Kunin. Oh, man, he's one and two. 
Like one, uh, yeah, one and two against Cooney. Into the middle, Goudreau, nice takeaway. That's a breakaway, that's a three on two, go! Dubinsky, shoot it, Vitretto! Oh, fucking, oh, Goudreau misses that top right corner. It was wide open. Let's get Sammy Blay out there for an offensive zone face-off, third line defensive pairing. Oh, my God. We just missed that face. Uh, I mean, we just missed that shot. Goudreau, though, boys. I know he doesn't have the greatest shot. Sammy Blay face off up against Kunin. Sammy, shoot it. Heed. Oh, right in the back. Fucking idiots. Look at the puck. God damn. Brad Hunt. Gonna dump that puck in. Come on, get back there. Get back there. He, Tim Heed. Oh, Tim Heed gets leveled by Hartman, but he does move the puck up to Evander. Evander Kane over to Kasha. Kasha. Kane. Oh, nice try, buddy. Nice shot, low blocker. Sammy Blay, shoot it. Now, shoot it, 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 shoot it. Everything on the net. Kasha, pick up that puck. Oh! Okay, pass off the backboards. Shoot it. Get on front. Shoot it. You idiot, why are you going to... Oh. <laughs> Whatever, we're doing a good job. Idiot fucking just, just drifts past the blue line before shooting it. Let me take a clapper instead of just wristing it on the net. Relax, John. Nope, nope. I'm telling them to shoot. I am not allowing the computers to send floaty no-look back passes to the slot. If I get it back to the point, it gets sent in on the net. It's as simple as that. All right? This is GM Superb Man, Coach Superb Man Hockey. Get over it. Saucy. Up to Marcus Foligno. Foligno's going to dump that puck in. Come on now. Pick up that puck behind the net. <gasps> Jordan Greenway walks down. What a save by Osgood. I, I, I don't know if it was saved or missed the net. Fuck. That was way too close. Foligno. Back turns. Andres Janssen going to... Oh, Jesus. What are we doing? Break the puck out, you idiots. Greenway. Another great save by Thatcher Demko. Oh. Third line, you drop the ball. Second line, get out there. Uh, second line defensive pairing as well. Get your asses out there. Oh, bad line change. Oh, my God. They took forever. Jordan Green. Oh, they got back. Bad line change. Even worse for the Minnesota Wild. Right. Okay, I got to remember that. We're in overtime, so the, the, the friggin' line is on the opposite side. That is dangerous. Go, Joe. Oh. Dubnik with the save, you idiot. Come on. Come on, Stolly. Second line. Let's go. Second line. Oh, Thatcher Demko. Good job. We're getting a highlight reel right there. Oh, big toe save by Thatcher Demko. He looks good in his alternates, baby. Yeah. All right. Offense is on face off. Uh, Eric Stahl up against Alex Galchenyuk. Come on, Stahl. Face off win. Shoot it. Rebound. Oh. Don't take a don't take a goddamn penalty, you idiot. Zuccarello. Gonna come back for the Minnesota Wild. Center is it to nobody. Eric Stahl, Selkie, Centerman, Captain, everything. Chirot, uh, walking. One-timer! Oh, oh, my God. Dubnik is saving everything. In the middle! <laughs> Do, uh, Dumba and Suter are gonna break it up. Galchenyuk. Oh, man. I just... I wish we could just get a, a good look. Oh, he's gonna get a face off there as well. Good job by uh, Galchenyuk. I wish we could just get a good look. You know, I'm throwing, I'm throwing everything on the net. We're just not getting that good look right there. Like, right there was not bad, but you didn't get a good shot off of it. I'm looking for a good look and a good shot. That's all we need. Defensive zone face-off. They still have Galchenyuk up against Dubinsky, though. Come on, fourth line. Face-off push. Oh, picked up. Oh, come on. You idiots, attack him. There you go. Go, 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 go. No, don't go for the line change now. It's a three-on-two rush. You got an odd man. Barkley! Oh, Jesus, Dubinsky. It's our... <sighs> Who do I want? Who do I want? Uh, let me get Eric Stahl out there. Yeah. First line. We're going to take a chance. Damn it, man. Goudreau's had chances. Dubinsky is making a save. Just pick a corner. I know. We just don't have, like, our top-tier shooters getting these chances. We've got our fourth liners taking them. There we go. Anderson back to the point to Yarny. He's on his backhand. I'm not shooting that. Uh, it's a backhand. He got it through. I didn't want to tell him to shoot that, though, but it was decent. Fiala up to Erickson Eck. Uh-oh, the sniper. Here come the Minnesota Wilds. Cutting back. Plays it to himself like an idiot. Larson. Uh, I could have get a chain, but it's an odd man rush. Cal, Cal Yarncroft. Snip it. Oh, no. Oh, Yarncroft got leveled. Where's the call, ref? Fucking dicks. <laughs> Eric Stahl takes matters into his own hands, but Minnesota coming back the other way. No. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, oh my god. Third line, change now. Yarncroc, oh my god. Yarncroc, you're dead tired. Change now. Change now, Yarny. Oh, Yarny doing a great job. Oh, I see there's the no-look back floaty drift pass. Oh my god. Here come the Minnesota Wild, back the other way. Uh, Miku Koivu over to JT Brown. JT Brown hit off the puck by Charat. Good job, Charat. Andreas Janssen up to Hino Stroza. Hino Stroza over to Bjugstad. Bjugstad looking. On the wing, trying to get somebody open. Oh, my God. See what I mean? I'm letting them go, 
and they try to get those passes into the slot, but it's just not there. So that's why I'm trying to get, I'm trying to force some shots so they get those rebounds. I find that shots are better to the slot than a pass that's to the slot, you know? Sammy Blay. Offense is re- Oh, God. Pass it. Pass it to the other defenseman. Now shoot it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Even when I tell them to shoot, fucking hell. Pass it to the other defenseman. We could have got a one-timer. Why are you skating across? You're on your backhand. There's nothing. And then what the fuck is this? It scoops up on his damn stick and then... Falls that much before it hits the net? Oh yeah, that shot had some velocity on it. Let me tell you. Holy shit, what am I looking at? Here come the Minnesota Wild back the other way. Oh, they got an opening. Hunt, back to the point. Uh, it's going to be, yes, it's going to be tipped out. I got to get a line change. Jeez, oh, we're all over the place right now. I'm not liking this, dude. I'm not liking this. The Minnesota Wild, they got it on the left side. Come on, guys. What are we doing bunching up? Jesus. Vander Kane. Oh my god. Okay, skate, skate. Pass it, pass it! Fuck! Fourth line. Just get the grinders out there. Here we go, Kasha. Can you end it yourself? No, don't take a penalty. Don't take a pen. Oh, Jesus. Our boys are playing like shit right now, ladies and gentlemen. They can't find an open player. They keep on losing the puck. Come on, man. Make an open pass. Vitrano. Up to Goudreau. It's my fourth line. They can't... Oh, my God! Oh, it's one of those moments right now. Our boys cannot play. I can't tell them to pass it to an open play. It's going to cost us. This is going to cost us. What are you idiots doing? What are the... What you fucking idiots doing? Manage. Call a timeout. Let's talk to the boys. Are you guys going to start getting fucking open for one another? Are you going to keep shit in the bed? Playing like a bunch of bum plug expansion players. Get out there. Get to the front of the fucking net. Alright, I'll take the fucking shots. And hustle. Stop using hooks. Stop using pokes. Stop using all that nonsense. Use your goddamn young athleticism. I drafted guys in their goddamn 20s. Get out there and fucking use it. Defense is on. Oh my god. Parise. Back to Dumba. I throw my fourth line out there to win a face. Oh, look. They're having a power play on us. They're having a power play on us. Can we get the puck? Vatnin, get it out. There you go. First line. There you go. Get that puck and dump it. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to I'm gonna lose my mind. I am going to lose my fucking mind playing this. Coach mode only helps so much, ladies and gentlemen. Coach mode only helps out so much. Oh, all right. Come on. Come on. Sammy Blay, win that face off. There you go. Vander, get it in deep. Get it in deep. There you go. He's across the line. Oh, Vander! The dangleitis! Vander, turn. Back to the point. Ugh. I, w I just want someone to be on their fucking forehand, dude. There you go, Sammy. Pass that. Vander! Oh, he's on his forehand. There's just no angle to shoot. Kase! Narkasha! Ah! <laughs> We're going to be here all day, man. Oh, the computers are so bad at trying to find some offense. Fiala, ah, oh, Thatcher Demko with the save, good job. Oh my goodness gracious. We might have to edit the tuners to, to make gameplay a little bit more interesting because what the hell? Oh, when it goes longer than a couple of minutes, it really gets frustrating. Oh, Dubinsky loses the face off. Oh, whoa, that was an offensive rebound. But we end up getting it. All right, second line, get out there. Goudreau, Barkley Goudreau, over to Trot. Rister blocker save right there by Devin Dubnik. No trouble. These goalies are making save after save, dude. Miku Koivu walks in. Oh, Kevin Fiala wrist shot. Oh, my God. Fucking just whips that sucker wide. Erickson Ek. Uh, come on, boys. A step up. What are we doing? And the Minnesota Wild are going to tie up the series at once. Yikes. Just a horrible showing in overtime for the Seattle Stallions. Yikes. That's bad, boys. That's bad. But you're going to have to deal with it. Let's jump to the next one. All right. So after game number two, we lost it in overtime 3-2 to two, to the Minnesota Wilds. Unfortunate that the series is tied at 1-1. I felt like we could have had that game. But uh, we have changed our strategies. We've also tuned the tuners slightly using the Twitch chat. Don't worry. I haven't done anything to make it cheese for me. They all are okay with it. Um, but the strategy seems to be working. I mean, the first game, they only scored one goal in regulation. The second game, they only scored two goals in regulation. Um, so when you look at our team, it's our offense or our lack of offense. Uh, that's getting us into trouble. So yeah, they are a defensive team. We need to get that third goal by the end of regulation. That needs to be our quota. Three by the end of regulation against a team like this. We do that, and over the course of seven games, good things will happen. All right? Now, they may be due for a game where they get some goals. We are also due for a game where we get more than two, so I don't know where the series is going here, but it'd be nice to just get that uh, that series lead once again, right? 
So, yeah, let's get right into it. Game number three, ladies and gentlemen, between the Minnesota Wilds and the Seattle Stallions. 1-1 one, one series tie. Come on, we need that third goal by the end of regulation. No more two-goal games. And that freaking overtime frame. We're not using the D-Generation X jerseys again, boys. They're 0 for 1. We're going back to the Whites or Greens. The Whites are at least 1 for 1. The Greens are 1 and 0. So we're going back with those real colors. Sorry, D-Generation X. There it is. Sammy Blay opening up the goal, scoring on... Yes! Hino Stroza. Two in the first is huge against a team like this. Because now we have so much time to get that third goal before the end of regulation. All right, good. Good, good. Vino Hosa, uh, Vino, Vino Hosa, <laughs> Vinny Hino Strosa. Oh my God, I've been talking for too long already, ladies and gents. And Sammy Blay opening up the goal scoring for your Seattle Stallions here in game number, game number three, right? Yeah, we're in Minnesota. So here we go, second period underway. Power play for the Stallions. Uh, that's a long one as well. Might have been a double minor. We didn't score, they didn't get a shorty, but it did eat a lot of uh, in-game clock right there. Five minutes left, three minutes left. Two minutes left, and that's a great start to game number three here on the road. 40 minutes in, no goals against, and a two-goal lead. Now, I want that third goal by the end of regulation. We have the routine in place, but they could easily get two simulation goals. All right? They're, they could easily get it. We need that third goal by the end of regulation. So come on now, Seattle. Find me a goal. Find a goal for Oz Th uh, Thatcher Demko. Come on, power play for Minnesota. Not good, thank God. Power play for Seattle. Get that third! Damn it, man! Oh, man. Third game in a row. We're only going to get two goals in regulation. Jesus. Power play for Seattle late. Just hold on. Just hold on, Demko. Just hold on, Thatcher. Just hold on, buddy. Yeah! And Thatcher Demko is going to get his second shutout of the playoffs. Big time. All right. Now, that's good. It's all well and good. But this is what I mean about the Minnesota Wild. If they have a few games where they score some goals, we're in trouble. Because we've had three games in a row. We've only been able to score two goals in regulation. Two goals, two goals, and two goals. So they're, they're keeping the puck out of the net, but they just don't have the offense to counter that, you know, to help them out. All right. I mean, things are going our way. We want to win this game. We want to win this game and make it a 3-1 series lead. This is too tight of a series. Offense, you've got to explode. You know their offense is going to show up eventually. It's got to. It's just it's just a matter of time before Parise has like a two-goal night or something like that. So come on, offense. Give me that four or five-goal night. You know, we, we know we have it. We know we have it. Game four, power play. That's a good way to start. If you don't score, though, power play for the Minnesota Wild. Yikes. Jordan Greenway is going to score, and it is a major or something because they stay on the power play. They only get the one. That's a, ah, oh, yep, I told you. I, I told you. They're due. They're due. That's why that overtime game in game number two was so huge for the Minnesota Wild right there. They were able to steal. Yeah, they're due. They're due. They're due for a game. And watch. This be the game that we get the three goals and we still lose, right? This series is scaring me, ladies and gentlemen. This series is frightening me. Evander Kane gets one, but Joel Eriksson, Eck. Thatcher Demko is having his first bad game in the playoffs. All right, I'm okay with Thatcher Demko having a bad game. What I'm not okay with is the lack of offense against the Minnesota Wild here. We are Seattle. Yeah, yeah, it's their game. Let them have it. But this is going to be a 2-2 series tie after this. We needed that overtime win in game two, man. Oh my God, did we ever need that? Fucking De Devin Dubnik just robbing Barkley Goudreau, robbing other players, and we're just running around <laughs> like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off, not playing any kind of good hockey. And it cost us a game, and now look at this. We're about to be all tied up against the team that we, you know, we're like, yes, we're going up against the Wild in round two. This would have been perfect. We're letting this series slip away from us, boys. So here we go. Let's just get this third period out of the way. Look at this again. Two goals in game one. Two goals in game two with an overtime frame. All right. So extra periods. Two goals in game three. One goal in game four. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Line change time? We're not scoring goals. Is it time to move Eric Stahl up to the first line? We are not scoring goals. Do we have to sacrifice the plus five on the second? Because like that's four games in a row now. We have not had one good game with goals. Not one good game. Karchia, I'm not bringing up any aces in the hole from the AHL. Get the hell out of here. All right? What we could do is move Eric Stahl up to the first line in exchange for Sammy Blay. Now, we almost get the plus five there, but not quite. Now, Sammy Blay loses the plus five. Uh, Hino Stroza. Let's see. Hino. No. It, it doesn't work. There's no way you can get a plus five on the second line now with these guys. Uh, Kase, are you better for the second line? No, you're, you're, you're needed on the first. Kane. Kane is better for the second. Anderson. 
Nope. So I move Anderson up there. Almost gets a plus five. Uh, Bjugstad up there. Almost. Uh, Goudreau up there. No. So we're not getting our plus fives there. So Eric Stahl up there instead of... Bla I mean, it is it is a gigantic increase because Stahl at 85. You know, with the plus three instead of the 85. And he's getting more ice time now. That's pretty good. Yarncroc and Kase. Yeah, I can just keep that the way it is. All right. So are you guys okay with that? Go Eric Stahl for one game. Sammy Blaze is all right, but I got to... We're losing a little bit there because Anderson and Yarncroc are getting down a little bit, but we're pushing Eric Stahl up. Check the defense. It's good. All right. All right. So that's looking good. Defensive core. Uh, we really can't change our defense at all. We're getting plus ones everywhere, right? And we're playing our top guys up front. Yeah, we can't change our defensive core. Really, the only thing you can do with these guys is change the offense, the defenseman, but it's plus ones everywhere. So that's not going to work. Special teams. All right, so power play. I got Stahl. I got Kase, or Kasha, shit, Vatnin, and Dahan. I mean, I got my guys. I got my guys on the first. No, we have our power play. Let's try to change around Yarncroc and Kasha on the power play. Let's just see if that does anything. Vatnin and Dahan. Uh, can I go Vatnin and Kasha? Yeah, you know what? Dahan, you're going to go back here with Hinostroza, Blay, and Anderson. We're going to rock all of our top guys on the power play, all right? There you go, plus three. There it is. Uh, power play, yeah, that's fine. All right, so we're going to go with Eric Stahl on the first. I'm not... Uh, if we lose this game convincingly... I mean... <sighs> we've had four good defensive games with this setup. No. The Captain Stahl, give him the chance. Give him the chance. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is it. Moving Eric Stahl up to the first line and sacrificing the plus five. Will it be enough? Yarn Croc on the first line. Yarn Croc on the first line. I think it's the same. Who's been playing better, though? But Stahl and Yarn Croc have had pretty good chemistry. Let's see. Who's better? Ka uh, Kasha, four and two. He's only got two assists so far in this, four and seven. All right. I'll try it out. I'll listen to you guys. Yarn Cro uh, Yarny, Stahl, and Kane. All right. Anderson, Blay, and, uh, and uh, Kasha. Uh, Kasha. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing them on their shooting wing. So if I go in there, yeah. Who do I want? I want Kasha on. The, uh, yeah, I want Kasha on his shooting wing. Kane, Yarncroc, I want you guys on your shooting wing. So if I go into the game, I want you guys shooting. Uh, Janssen, yeah, that looks good. Vitrano, Goudreau. Goudreau can shoot. Well, Goudreau's been missing, so I'll go Vitrano on that side. All right. Uh, defensively, Vatnin and Larson. All right, so I got the one-timer there. Charot and Dahan got the one-timer there. And then I have two one-timers on the third. All right, so the second line I have... So the the, the, the second line defensive pairing is for an offensive face-off in the left circle. And this one's for an offensive face-off on the right circle. And then this is for either. All right, cool. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Ready to go. This is huge. All right. This is this is this is massive. I want to get to the friggin' Western Conference Finals. It is a 2-2 series tie. We're going back to Thunder Shock in Seattle to face off against the Wild. Who's gonna take this series and be up three to two? Our captain, Eric Stahl, has been promoted to the first line. What can he do? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are due. Two goals game one, two goals game two, two uh two goals game three, one goal game four. We are fucking due. I'm swearing, I don't care. Power play early for Minnesota. Go Goes nowhere. Six minutes, five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute, and all right. So still not looking good. Very hard, very hard to score goals on the Minnesota Wild. They are keeping the puck out of the net. We are doing our job as well. Hopefully Thatcher Demko answers back with a good game after that horrible game in the last one. But our offense, that's that's the question mark. <sighs> Jonas Brodeen scores. I thought it was us because I saw green for a second. I was looking at the left side. But no, it's the Minnesota Wild opening up the goal scoring here in Thundershock. Power play for the Seattle Stallions. They cannot tie it up. What are we doing? We just can't find any offense here against Devin Dubnik and fucking Ryan Suter. Are you kidding me? Two goals, two goals, two goals, one goal, and now we're going to get shut out? Where's the offense? Oh no, this was shaping up to be our, it can't be the Minnesota fucking wild. Come on, Eric Stahl. All right, it's your old team. I promoted you to the first line. You've got to step up for me, buddy. You've got to. Third period. We got to steal it. I don't want to be down 3-2. The simulation's going to screw us. 15 minutes left. Come on. Thatcher Demko's doing his job. Offense, come on. Offense, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's gonna do it, boys. It's gonna do it. Oh! oh!
goal, Nick Bjorkstad scores with fucking 27 seconds left. Oh, we're going overtime again. Oh, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going back to Thundershock for game number five in overtime. Nick Bjorkstad ties it up late. What? Oh, another overtime. This is ridiculous. The amount of times that I got to go in overtime in this playoff run. Whatever. We got to get some tough goals. Let's do it. So here we are. Overtime game five in Seattle, baby. Nick Bjugstad, the hero with 27 seconds left, forces overtime. And what can the Seattle Stallions do here? Can they get back to Minnesota with a 3-2 series lead? Or will that uh, game time goal in the third be all for nothing? Come on now. Let's send the fans home happy and let's get to the Western Conference Finals. That would be huge. Now we change some things up. We got a staggered defense. All right, so we're covering the point a little bit more. But here we go. Yarncroc on the first line. He got promoted. He's cutting. He's looking. Back to Yarncroc. Shoot it. Rebound to Vatnin. Oh my God. Vatnin, I don't know why you went to the net. I tried to tell Eric Stahl to shoot that. I mean, I tried to tell, um, what's his name? Uh, the guy on the left side to shoot, he passed it back a one time. That could have been so close. All right, I'm leaving my first line out there. They were not there long enough. Eric Stahl, you can win that face off. Come on, baby. I'm going right for a shot from uh, Adam Larson. <gasps> Batting in. Oh, why would you? Shoot it now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a save. Dude, why didn't you shoot that, Evander Kane? Kane didn't want it. Let's see. Ah, uh, you know what? Dubnik was there. It would have been... Yeah, you know what? It, he was there. He didn't get fooled. That was actually a good pass by Kane. That was actually a good pass. It just didn't have anybody on front of the net when I shot it. Oh, man. If only number 19 got there. I'm crashing the net. All right. You're not in coach mode? What do you mean? I'm not in coach mode? Oh, are they are they, are they trolling me? Am I getting, am I getting trolled? Am I getting trolled? All right. Hang on. Let the trolls have their... Oh, they got me. Oh. All right. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so let's get the second line out there. Sammy Blay. Uh, what face off? I need the right. I need the. I need Sammy Vatnin. We're on the right side. We're on the left side. Fuck. Should have gone with the second. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sammy Blay win that face off, baby. Josh Anderson and Kasha. Sammy Blay loses the face off to Alex Galchenyuk. Not good. And Matt Zuccarello coming back for the Minnesota Wild. Get on him, Vatnin. Get on him. I got you staggered. Oh no. Oh, Zuccarello takes that shot. Larson gonna break it up. All right, second line defensive pairing. Sammy Blay's got it. He is across the line. Take that shot, maybe. Take that shot. Just, just shoot it. Look for something. Maybe it bounces out in front. I don't need any no pass going nowhere. All right. If I got the shot, I'm taking it. But I got three guys back now. We have a little bit more of a trap instead of getting three guys caught. Uh, the Minnesota Wild looking for somebody on front of the net. They said our act could have been so close. Anderson up to Blay. Third line. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, here we go. We got Chirot. Chirot cutting back, looking first. Oh, God, man. Oh, my God, Chirot. Miku Koivu, breakaway. Doesn't even get a shot. And Thatcher Demko with the save. The fuck was it? This is why I tell them to shoot. This is why. This is precisely why. Just tell them to shoot. Stop. If they're cutting up and they're waiting on their backhand, tell them to shoot. It's going to act like a dump and chase. Stop letting EA programming dictate the play. He cuts up. He's doing a good job. Oh, I'll just send a fucking no-look back pass while my team. Oh, great job, Chirot. Fucking hell, man. All right, here we go. Uh, third line defensive pairing. There you go. Get your ass out there. God damn. God damn. God damn. All right. This is this is, this is is the Stanley Cup. We're dealing with this shit. Oh, I should have put our fourth line. Uh, defensive zone face off. That's all right. Bjugstad's good, too. Bjugstad wins the face off. Good job. Hey, check. Up to Heed. Andreas Janssen. Go. Use that speed. No one's on you. You're starting to see the speed. Shoot it, Janssen. Oh, keep your speed up. Why do you stop? Why do they stop? Shoot it! Oh, Janssen hits the post! Oh. Uh, back to the point. Uh, all right, Janssen. Move around, move around. Back to the point. Point, 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 point. Mother of Christ, dude. What do I need to tell them to do to fucking pass the puck? Koivu in. Centers it to nobody. Spurgeon walks around, finds Kevin Fiala. Block! Fiala rebound! Thatcher Demko with the save. Oh my God, Andreas Janssen, dude. What's the, what's the toner setting that I need to make them to pass the puck or to shoot it when they're fucking open? Oh, I can't take any, uh, any more of these overtime games, man. I've had too many. I've had my, 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 my quota. Here we go. All right, so the first, um, the fourth line does a good job. And they end up dumping the puck out. Good job, Boyles. Good job. Now go for a quick line change. Spurgeon. Oh, the four check almost works out, but Ryan Hartman's going to break it out. God damn. 
four check. They had it. They just skate right past it. Adam, L oh my God, Adam Lars. <laughs> what was that? Evander, go! You got speed, Jared Spurgeon. Oh, what two on one? Yarkrok, Evander, go! Oh, Jesus Christ, he had the fucking rebound. But no, Dubnik with the save. Oh my God, Hartman back to Hunt. Slap shot. Oh, just misses the net. I can't take this. Larson, let's go for a second line. I know we're on the rush, but whatever. We gotta, we gotta take care of uh, our defensive side things. Yarnkrok doing saucy no lookies to nobody. Oh, you're so good, Yarnkrok. Here we go. Minnesota Wild playing it back. Anderson back check. Skate, skate, Kasha. Anderson's going. Anderson. Sumbo. Oh, Jesus. Oh Jesus. All right, back. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do we want to get somebody to the back? Do we want to get to penetrate the slot at all on your forehand? You bunch of dick faces! Oh! Everyone passes to their fucking backhand. It's such a joke. I forgot to change the lines. Oh my god, Sammy Blake, get out there! Come on, baby. Sammy Blake, win the face off. Kane. Oh! Oh, it was Kasha. That man, he threw the he threw the puck out. Unbelievable! He threw the puck out right into somebody. There you go, Anderson. Good back check. Go, boys. Go. Uh, third line. Third line. All right, Sammy Blade, just take that shot because you're gonna lose it when they get this. So just take the shot so it looks like a dump. And then there you go. Johnson walks in. Oh, Dubnik with the save. Oh, strap yourselves in. Get a deep seat. We're gonna be here for a while. All right, it, it's it's face off on the right side or the left the right side. So I need a right handed one timer for my defenseman. Sammy Vatnin with Devin Dubinsky taking the face off. All right, do it. Yeah, this is the setup. Fucking win a face off back to Vatten and Vatten and clap it. This is the setup that I wanted. Doobie. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I need like a 90 overall face off, man. This is rough. Adam Larson picks it up, and here come the uh, Stallions. You know, a little dump and chase hockey for our fourth line. Larson across the blue line, uh, looking in the middle. In the middle. Vatnin! Larson and Vatnin jumping up in the play, I don't believe it! And Sammy Vatnin, our alternate captain, rips it! And the Seattle Stallions here in Thundershock have a 3-2 series lead over the Minnesota Wild in round number two. Oh my god. What a pass by Vatnin into the middle. I mean, a pass by Larson into the middle of Vatnin. I don't know why Vatnin was up in the slot along with everybody else. Got like three guys in the same spot. Whatever. Whatever. It's a victory. And now we just need one more. And we're in the final four. See, Biscuit, we can do it. We can fucking do it. Let's get to the next one. Oh. All right. We did it. We got that game in overtime. I'm still terrified, though. Now, we managed to steal that game with Bjugstad tying it up late. And then scoring. We got that goal in overtime. But look at this problematic uh, uh, series that we've had. Two goals for, two goals for, two goals for, one goal for, one goal for. Even though we won that game in overtime, one goal in regulation. In the first, what is it, five games, we've had, we've averaged what, like, like one point something goals per game? 1.7, 1.8, something like that? Like, it is ridiculous. So, good news, if you're trying to find the silver lining, we have two more games to beat the Minnesota Wild. So, we have two chances. And you gotta think... We're going to have a game where we get more than three goals, right? The problem is, is if we get that game where we get more than three, are we going to be able to keep the puck out of the net? If we have a game six here where we lose five to four, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. All right? So we just got to get it done here and now. Let's go. We're going to leave Mark, uh, Mark Stahl, Eric Stahl in the first line. It worked out in the last game, so we're going to leave it in for this game, all right? Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. A, conf a trip to the conference final is on the line. Oh, my God. Oh my god, this is huge for your Seattle Stallions in Minnesota. Times eight. Yo, stall against your old team. Beat them on their home ice. Power play early for Seattle. Oh, Kasha scores. All right, good. So we got that goal early. Devin Dubnik bleeds. He bleeds. And if he bleeds, we can kill him. They haven't got a shot. <laughs> Yarkrock! <gasps> Invader! We did it, boys. We got the three before 15 minutes. We got the three. Now we can't allow the goals in this game. So get to the end of the first. Get to the end of the first. Get to the end of the first. All right, this is the game to win it. If we lose this game, we might as well just throw away that this might as well be our game seven because old Mo will jump back on their team if they come back and win this one. We got the three goals by the end of the period, uh, by the end of the game. So the chance to get the four is there, but 
You got to keep the puck out of the net. All right? This is our game to win it. This is it. I don't want to hear, oh, we got a chance at game seven. This is the one to get the victory. All right? Here, game six, 40 minutes, three goal lead. Let's fucking go. Come on now, Seattle. Come on, Stallions. For Thundershock. For this, oh, Zach Parise getting his team back within two. Only five shots on the net on Thatcher Demko. One's gone by. I'm not going to get angry at him for one. One's fine. Every goalie can allow one, even if it's one shot, one goal. Power play late in the second period for Minnesota. Goes nowhere. Come on. Demko and the boys get to the end, get to the end, get to the end. All right, I would take that. I would take that any day of the week, all right? Did not score a goal for us in the second, but we got that third. We got that third. That's all we needed. That third goal by the end of regulation. Now, if we can get the fourth, that'd be great. But we got the third. So Demko and the boys... Don't allow more than two, all right? Don't allow more than two, and we're off to the final four. Come on, Seattle. Third period, underway. Oh, fuck! Ryan Donato gets his team back within one real early in the period as well. Oh, Ryan Donato ties up the game with 13 minutes left. Oh, no! We let it slip. We let it slip. Seven minutes Six minutes, come on. Yes, Evander! Evander is second goal of the game, please! Please! Ah, oh, we're gonna do it! Yes, we did it, we did it, we did it! Evander Kane and the Seattle Stallions are off to the Western Conference Finals, ladies and gentlemen. We got that fourth goal by the end of regulation, and that is a victory. Conference Finals, here we come. Evander Kane, two goal night. I told ya. I told ya he is a big time performer. He came through for us. Three point night plus three. We did it. We freaking did it, boys. We freaking did it. Callie Yarncroc on the first line. We scored those four goals. Simulate the day. Let's see who do we have. Who do we have in the conference finals? We have the Dallas Stars. A very good team. Close to 50 wins. So, so far in the playoffs, we've gotten by, you know, going up against the shittier teams. But now we have the top of the central, the Dallas Stars. All right, give me a break. I've got to get my voice back. But we will get this playoff run today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what a year number one for your Seattle Stallions. After a 1-10 in 10 start, we make the playoffs, we trade for Evander Kane, we get a draft lottery pick, and now we're in the final four of the 20 NHL season. 1920, uh, yeah, 1920 NHL season with the Dallas Stars, the Washington Capitals, the Florida Panthers, and the Seattle Stallions? That's right. What a final four it is. But we got a, a tough matchup. The Dallas Stars, all right? So let's take a look at the team that we're going up against. We'll do two things for here. First off, the team stats. How good were they in the entire league? You know, in, comp in comparison to the best teams. Let's see, third best. So we're going up against one of the best teams here, all right? Goals for per game, 2.95. They're not scoring goals, which is good, which tells me they're keeping the puck out of the net. Uh, let's see. Da second best defensive team in the NHL. So, going to be tough. And unlike the Minnesota Wild, they're going to have Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan, which helps them get enough. It get, gets that three goals by the end of regulation, keeping the puck out of the net. All right. So, what did I say? 1920? Yeah, the 1920 season. 2019, 2020 season. Was that too fast for you guys in the Twitch chat? I got to fire you guys, the scouts, if you can't keep up. Sorry. All right, so goals against looking uh, pretty rough. We're going to have to find a way to score some goals in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and let's take a look at the lineups. Oh, or the lines that we're going up against here with the Dallas Stars. All right, so take our time with this. Ben Bishop? Yeah, I know. Ben Bishop is going to be a real tough, uh, tough problem to solve. But uh, maybe we have some lucky, uh, lucky, or maybe we get a little lucky with the injuries. No, we're not. Jamie Benn. All right, 85 overall, top six. How many points? He's a minus 10 in the playoffs. And he's only got eight points in 14 games played. That first line really ain't uh, killing it. He is a, what, a power forward? All right. Tyler Sagan, a playmaker. Uh, minus 12 with nine points in 14 games played. Okay. And Alexander Radulov, playmakers. They'll playmaker, playmaker, power forward. So they don't have the sniper, playmaker, power forward combo. Mine is eight. That first line's not looking great. Second line, Rupe Hints, plus three. All right, so their second line might be going off a little bit here. Uh, Yanmark, they're plus five. Blake Como, minus eight. Radic Faxa, minus four. I mean, is it all power play goals they're scoring? Or maybe they just went, went up against the toughest teams in the Central Division. But I'm not, I'm not impressed with their squad. 
But remember, they're built to keep the puck out of the net. Whenever you're not impressed by numbers, the team is usually built for defense. All of these two-way forwards. So that makes sense. Uh, defensively, John Klinberg, offensive defenseman. He's a minus 10, but he's got 10 points in 14 games played, helping out in the power play. They, all their offense must come from the power play. Uh, Heskainen, uh, he's a minus 10 as well. Uh, Essa Lindell is an, uh, is an even player. Alexiak's an even player. John's, pff, they must be a power play specialist team. They must be. Radulov, Sagan, Pavelski, Heskinen, Klinberg. They don't even have Jamie Benn on their first line power play. All right, so they did really well during the regular season, but I, I, they just must be able to keep the puck out of the net. Ben Bishop, he must be the guy. But even his save percentage and goals against weren't great. What does the playoff tree look like here? Scory Perry on the fourth line? Yeah, we know that he scores. Uh, he's got one of those, uh, just those good advanced analytics type players. Uh, Bishop's ass. Well, here's the thing. They might have gone up against tough, really two tough teams. And, like, they can't, yeah. They went to a game seven against Colorado. And they went to a game seven against Chicago. So, Colorado, you got McKinnon. You got, uh, Landeskog. You got Rantanen. You got Kale McCarr. Right? So, they're able to score. And they beat them. Then they went up against Chicago. And they beat them in seven. Chicago's got Kane. They got, uh, Taves. I think, uh, I don't know how good they're young. Like, uh, Debrinkit is good. Debrinkit is good. Right? And they beat them in seven. And those two teams, I would say, have more offensive threats than we do. So the fact that their numbers aren't great, that doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to squash two good offensive teams while we picked off two shittier teams in six games. So yeah, that's a, a Kubelik, right? Yeah, Kubelik as well. I think they're a really good, I think it's going to be tough for us to score. And I don't think it's going to be tough for them to get that third goal. I think this is going to be a rough series, boys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our regular season lines. If we have a really bad game in game number one, we're going to go back with Eric Stahl. But for right now, we are going to just change up Kase and Yarnkrok, all right? Right-handed. I want the shooters on their sides. Yarnkrok, yeah, Anderson. And re-engage that plus five on the second line, all right? So we're going to get that going again. Uh, we still have the third. Defense is fine. And the special teams, we're going to leave the way it is, all right? But uh, Thatcher, get ready, buddy. Because a 9-3-1 save percentage and a 2-1-2 goals against, that's about to get challenged here up against the Dallas Stars. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, conference finals with your Seattle Stallions. No longer home ice advantage. We are on the road in game at number uh, one. Kasha? Ka Kasha, John? What, what happened to Kasha? Did I move him down? Did I move him down? Kasha, Kane, Blay. No, no, that, that's what we wanted. Yarn Crock is on the second with Stolly. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're leaving that. We're leaving that. All right. So here we go. Let's see what the Dallas Stars bring our way. Are they good defensively? Can they score goals? Is Ben Bishop going to be a pain in the arse? Or will this magical Cinderella underdog season continue for your Stallions? I'm telling you. Oh, God damn. One shot, one goal for the Dallas Stars. Andrew Cogliano opening up Thatcher Demko just like that. What I say, though, one goal doesn't matter. All right, if he shuts down the game for the uh, for the rest, for the next 60 minutes, 59 minutes, that's fine. There you go. Eric Stahl tying up the game. Just get to the end of the first period, and it's it doesn't matter that they scored that first shot, first goal. Doesn't matter. Get to the end of the first. Get to the end of the first. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, boys. You guys can be laughing at uh, at uh, Demko in the chat. It doesn't matter whatsoever because we have a 1-1 tie. Shots are even 9-9, to and we have 40 minutes to play. Second period, underway. Both teams rocking the green. Who's going to claim uh, uh, the green color in the NHL? Tyler Sagan taking the lead for his Dallas Stars, followed up by Joe Pavelski. Yeah, see, they, yeah, they're going to be able to score. This is the problem. And they can keep the puck out of the net. Guys like Radulov, Sagan, and Pavelski. They're big-time players just showed up. Now, we can still steal this game. It's not over just yet. But, yeah, they see, they can score. So, Eric Stahl going back to the first line for sure. We have to throw, we have to just run our best players on the first line. Yeah. So this is much harder than the Minnesota Wilds. They can play good defensively, but they also have the studs that can chip in. Yarny, dude, can we steal this game? We're only down by two. Ugh, see, they can score. They can score. Radic Faxa scoring on Eddie Lack. Though this, that, Thatcher Demko gets taken out. Well, unfortunately, we get the three goals, but we allow six for the first seven. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. Have a blast, Dallas. Have a blast. You got us this game. Home ice. Don't worry. We're not in trouble till we lose on home ice. I'll take that one. All right. All right. Fair enough. You got us. All right. So let's sim to the next. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sim to the next game. Oh, there you go. Uh, Central scouting rankings. We're not worried about that. Uh, all right. So the Dallas Stars. Uh, so we're going to go back and edit our lines. 
We're not going to worry about, um, what's his name, Eric Stahl now on the second line. We're going to go back with that and Kyle Yonkroc as well. All right, second line is going to be Sammy Blay, Anderson, and Kasha. Uh, and uh, Hino Stroza, uh, Bjugstad, and uh, Janssen are going to stay down there on the third. So we're losing that plus five, but we're retaining the plus threes. And we're giving our captain, Eric Stahl, an 85 overall guy, the most ice time instead of Sammy Blay. Same thing with Vander Kane, all right? So it really just comes down to our players in the simulation. There's not much I can do. Uh, we just got to hope for the best. All right, boys? So we lost game one, seven to three. Do we answer back now with a good game? You're not in trouble in the playoffs till you lose on home ice. So we're on the road right now. It ain't, it ain't the worst thing. Let's see what happens here. Demko allowed the first goal, and then he shut down the rest of the first period. Oh, Thatcher Demko allows another early goal. Tyler Sagan, it's going to be too much, man. Sagan, Ben, and Radulov on the first line. It's just too much. I don't know what kind of chemistry they have. It can't be good because it's two playmakers with a power forward. The, maybe it can get a plus three if they all maxed it out, but that's not one of those good combinations. And Tyler Sagan's going to give his team the only goal of the first period. The Dallas Stars lead one to nothing. All right, that's, that's not that bad. I would take that. I'll take that. Power play for the, Dallas, uh, for the Seattle Stallions goes nowhere. It was a long one as well. Either a five-minute major uh, or a four-minute double minor. Power play for Dallas. Halfway through the game, the Stars are leading one to nothing. Yeah, see, we got some goals in the last game, but they scored. They're also capable of winning the tight one, you know, the one to nothing victory. Now, Nick Bjugstad, we were down in a game in the last series, one to nothing, and Bjugstad scored with 27 seconds left. This game is far from over. Can we steal it? Can we fucking steal it? Come on now, boys. Third period underway. Come on, Stallions. Eric Stahl. Vatanen, Evander Kane, oh, Sammy Vatanen, there it is, I called for the veterans, and the man on the blue line fires one home, 1-1 one, one tie, it could be a 1-1 one, one series tie if we get this game one late, five minutes left, four minutes left, come on, no, not again, not again, oh, shit, dude, every goddamn series, I gotta jump in overtime, <laughs> it's damn overtime, so let's go. So here we are, game two overtime, ladies and gentlemen. That can your Seattle Stallion steal it late? I'll be telling them to shoot everything on the net. I don't care. Once they get to their forehand, it's going in. Uh, Evander, get your forehand. Get it back to the point, maybe? We did uh, change our strategies a little bit more to tell these guys just to shoot the puck. Kelly Yarncroft behind the net. Yark! Oh, he tried to freaking backhand it. Far side. If that just hooked the post and gone in, that would have been amazing. Evander. Plays it back to Larson. You might want to dump that puck in, Adam. There you go. Over to Vander Kane. Uh, take that shot on the net. There you go. Get her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that shot. Don't look for him to cut back and lose the puck. Uh, you know, left side. So we got the second line defensive pairing. So I'm going to go with Dubinsky to win the faceoff and see if we can get a one-timer for... Uh, who's the guy on the right side? Fuck, I forget his name. Dahan. Calvin Dahan. Dubinsky back to Dahan. Come on. Dubinsky. Send it to Dahan. Oh, Dubinsky wins the faceoff. But uh, Charot gets it back. Oh, oh, oh. What are we doing? Bat skating to one another. Barkley Goudreau. Petrano. Ah, oh, into the middle. Shoot it to right. Backhand floaty. I don't care. Just get it on the net. Whatever, baby. All right, Jamie Ben Coming up for the Dallas Stars. Three on two rush. Not looking good. Jamie Ben with a wrister and a good glove save right there. He has to fight it off, but he does. Oh, three on two rush. Don't go for a line change yet. Barkley Goudreau across the line. Cuts back. Finds the defenseman. Done! Oh, just get it through. Find a way through with the slap shot. Why does everything got to hit somebody, you stupid computers? Here come the Dallas Stars. Back the other way. Oh, uh, back to Yanmar. Wister, another good save by the Thatcher Demko. Uh, we got to go for a line change. We have to change it up. We got to change it up. Dahan into Vatnin. Is that Vatnin? I don't know. Is Puck's loose? Puck's loose? Puck's loose. It's on its ball. Oh, it's fucking loose, referees. Why are you blowing that shit dead? I don't care if the game couldn't figure out where the puck was. There ain't no dead zone in real life. You let that play go. He didn't have that thing smothered. It's sitting right there on his goddamn pad. I'm blind. I'm deaf. I want to be a fucking ref. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, both one-timers on the point. We got two one-timers. Sammy Blay. Put a face-off push. Sammy, get the puck. Oh, again, Mark. He's going to get it out for the Dallas Stars. Dump and chase. Go get that puck, boys. Go get that puck. Don't screw it up now. Easy breakout pass. Yeah, yeah. All right, Anderson. Uh, three on two rush. We got some space. Anderson across the line. Looking back. Shoot it. On the net. Oh, he fucking sent it! He fucking sent it! Boy, that's a goal! And that is a fucking series tie! Wow! He sent... What? $135 donation as well? Oh my god, Fabian Olivo, I just came through with you. Don't worry about the YouTube demonetization. I got you, Johnny. Enjoy the money. You owe me nothing. Thank you for the years of content. Much love for New Jersey. Well, I just gifted you with an overtime victory. Joshy e. Anderson sends one. 
What the fuck was Ben Bishop doing there? Oh, I'm telling them to shoot every goddamn time. Yes. Fabian Olivo, you are a Hall of Famer. You gave me the freaking old Mo right there. Old Mo from Fabian. Boom! Let's get to game three. Okay, game two over and done with, and a 1-1 series tie, baby. 1-1 series tie. We stole game two. We stole that sucker. I lost my voice. We have a potential, what is it, uh, seven more wins that we need to get to win the Stanley Cup. I don't care. I am fighting through this shit, all right? The, 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 the Seattle Stallions have been fighting for me. The coaches, the simulation, the, the, the Twitch fans. I mean, we're, we're almost three hours into this. We still have over 1,500 people. I, if you guys are grinding, I'm grinding. We've got to do this, all right? And I've said it before. I'll say it again. We might have a magical season on our hands. I don't know what it is, but we're killing it. Uh, Burnaby player Alex Petrovic is available to play. Uh, I'll just continue. They've been playing just uh, fine down there in the AHL, if anyone wants to know. Uh, AHL, they're tied 2-2 right now with Providence, trying to get to the AHL finals. All right, so that's looking good. But we've taken one on the road. Now we get to come back to Seattle in Thundershock to see if we can take one more and make it a 2-2 series tie. All right, that's what we're looking for. So we stole game two. That's just larceny, man, thievery. Can we steal game three? Here it is. And also, just to let you guys know, we are running with Eric Stahl on our first line for the rest of the playoffs, all right? Stahl belongs on the first line. Sammy, the future is looking bright for you, but now it's the real time. Uh, fuck the chemistry. I want Eric Stahl getting as much ice time as I possibly can give him. So we're not making any more changes for chemistry, even if, and I hate to say if because it's the Stanley Cup Finals. I don't even want to think about it just yet. The Dallas Stars are a tough battle. But if we get there, Stahl's getting first line ice time, all right? So here we go. Game number three, ladies and gentlemen. We stole game two. We had a bad sim in game one. We stole game two. Are we due for a good sim where it goes our way the entire 60 minutes? I'd like to see it. Oh, man. Second shot of the game. The Dallas Stars score. But Vitrano answers right back. So, again, we it, our first shot went in. Their second shot went in, but our first shot went in. Both teams are I mean, we're even. It's even Steven right now. Don't even worry about that. Shots are even. Score is even. The exact same thing happened to Ben Bishop. Yeah, end of the first period. Yeah, these no, don't even worry about that, Thatcher Demko. It's one goal, my man. Don't even worry about it. Uh, Frank Vitrano, nice job. All right, so a 1-1 one, one, uh, one, one, uh, game tie here in game number three in Seattle. Come on, we can steal this one as well. Second period, underway. Power play for the Dallas Stars. We kill it off. Power play for Seattle. We cannot convert. Another one, though. The Zebras are gifting us those power plays. A third one in a row. Come on, you fools! Three power plays come, three power plays goal, not a single goal four for your Stallions, and we are still deadlocked at one after 40 minutes. Our power play is shite. Our power play could certainly get better in the future, all right, but whatever, man. It's also their penalty kill and Ben Bishop, but what I'm, I'm very happy about is the fact that we're actually simming on par with these guys. Even the last game went to overtime, so game one might have just been um, an anomaly. Well, these two games were playing more like the way it should go, which tells me that we're actually an even team when it comes to the simulation with the Dallas Stars. You take away those 10 regulation losses that we had in the first 12 games, we might match up well against them. So here we go, third period, underway. Come on, steal it. Fucking steal it. 15, <gasps> Evander, you silly salamander. I love you. 14 minutes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fuck, Rupe Hints ties the game up. Not good. Not again, man. I don't want to have to go. <gasps> Kasha. Kasha scores with less than five minutes left. Is that going to be it? Are we going to steal it? Steal it? <gasps> we stole it. We stole it. Fucking Kasha stole it. Another game winning goal for Kasha. The guy does nothing but score big time goals. Evander Kane as well coming through. Our first and second line. Oh my god. Oh my god. We forced the game six. We have forced the game six in the conference finals. No matter what happens, no matter what happens in this season, we can say in our first year we were in a game six conference finals. Wow. This has been a year, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Eric Stahl stays. Eric Stahl stays. You go back to uh, the last round up against the, uh, what was it, the uh, Minnesota Wild, right? We threw Eric Stahl in there for game six and for game seven. So Eric Stahl goes in there. We took him out for game one. Eric Stahl is 4-0. When Eric Stahl's on the first line, we are 4-0. Eric Stahl stays. Eric Stahl stays on that first line. No, guys, remember game one? It was Sammy Blay on the first because I went back to the original lines. With Eric Stahl on the first, we are 4-0. Oh, he stays. All right. 
All right. This is game number, what's game four, right? Yeah, game four. Oh, fucking Florida. Don't worry about Florida. Don't worry about, don't worry about daddy. Don't worry about him. All right, got to worry about Dallas. So here we go. Game four. Game four. <sighs> this is the difference between a 2-2 series tie and a 3-1 series lead. Oh my God. We could, <sighs> come on, Seattle. That's a great way to start the game on the penalty kill. But a power play goes nowhere. All right, come on, boys. All right, so at least we, uh, both goaltenders got a good start in this game. Got some touches before allowing a goal. That's good. Power play for the Dallas Stars goes nowhere. Four minutes left. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. Get to the end. Get to the end. Ooh, we got to the end of the first period, and we have not conceded a goal. I'm telling you, I think these two teams are evenly matched. Forget the first game. And that was also without Eric, with, with Sammy Blay on the first line. With Eric Stahl on the first line, these two teams are evenly matched. Second period underway. Old Mo is on our side. We believe. This is our year. We have hope. Every goddamn thing I've said over the last 10 years come through for us in this magical season. Sammy Blay takes the lead. Halfway through the game, the Seattle Stallions have a 1-0 lead. Oh my god. A bunch of penalties. But Thatcher Demko and the boys are up to the task. They kill it off. Holy shit. Holy shit, this is not happening. We are 20 minutes away from being up 3-1 in the conference finals in our expansion season. What is happening? All right, we need we need some offense. All right, Kasha, you've been uh, uh, fantastic for us. I could use another. Evander, Eric Stahl, I mean, Captain Stahl, you ain't getting traded at the draft deadline if uh, if you come through for me. But the Thatcher, Osgood, Demko, ever since getting his new equipment, does he have a shutout in this? I shouldn't have said that. Fuck. Third period, underway. Come on. Calvin DeHaan from the goddamn blue line fires one home. 15 minutes left. Come on, Seattle. Every minute passes is a minute closer to victory nine minutes eight minutes oh my god we're gonna do it we're gonna fucking do it power play for seattle we're gonna do it no rupe no 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 do it 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 three one three one series lead in the conference finals oh my fucking god we did it dude calvin okay 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 relax the series is not over just yet a series is not 5 and 0 with Eric Stahl on the first line. 5 and 0 with Eric Stahl on the first line. But the series is not over with, all right? If this is the Truman show, if this is some nonsense voodoo where where the story is going to turn completely against me and the rage is going to be induced, maybe they want to put me up by 3 to lose in game 7. All right, but here's the facts. We haven't had good goal scoring games at all. In the first four games, all right? Game one, when we had Sammy Blay on the first line, we lost that. Forget that one. That's, uh, that's, that's, forget about it. Game two, we stole in overtime, but one goal four by the end of regulation. Game three, three goals four by the end of regulation. Game four, two goals. I mean, we're keeping the puck out of the net, so technically they're due, but we're also due for one of those games where we get a shit ton of goals, and all we need to do is get one of them in the next three, I mean, all right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Calm it down. Calm it down. Calm it down. We can do this. We can fucking do this, Seattle. We can do this, man. Year one in Dallas, on the road. Power play early for the Dallas Stars. Goes nowhere. 14 minutes left. Come on, just have a good start. Ugh. Tyler Sagan opening up the goal scoring for the Dallas Stars. I do not like to see this, man. I get so nervous. I just want to get this series over and done right now. Here, right now. We don't have to go back to Thundershock. The next game in Thundershock could be in the finals for all I care, all right? All right, so we got to the end of the first. one nothing lead for the Dallas Stars, so... The inability to uh, the inability to score is still hindering us right now. All right, we have to get more than those three by the end of regulation, at least once in the final three games. It just terrifies me because what if we get it in a game where they get like seven again, and then they get back to that game seven because anything can happen in the game seven. Really, we have two chips, five on three. What two penalties at the exact same time? You fools! Oh my god, Alexander Radulov, the Dallas Stars are answering back. So it is a tough job scoring on the Dallas Stars. Even when we won, that's why that 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 overtime steal was massive, dude. I'm not liking this. Here we go, third period. Just can we steal it and get this series over and done with? Can we score a goal? Power play? Come on. Ah, we can't. <gasps> Josh Anderson gets us back within one. All right, we got a game at least here. Give him something to think about. Power play for Dallas. Power play again. Come on. Oh, man. Five minutes left. Four power play late. It's a long one. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, 
<laughs> Brendan Dubinsky on the fourth line ties it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are the team of destiny. We are the team. We are. We are magical. It is our season. A story is being told for the ages right now at the Seattle Stallions, ladies and gentlemen, and we are all a part of it. You here right now, live. Oh my god, we gotta jump in. This could be it. We gotta jump in. We've gotta jump in. Let's go. All right, here we go. Overtime game five in Dallas. If we score, we are off to the Stanley Cup Finals, ladies and gentlemen. Who's the hero? Or can the Dallas Stars get themselves back in this series? All right, Dubinsky, you got the game tire. Let's get out there and uh, and uh, and just win that face off. Break it out, and I'll switch to hell. I'll even leave the fourth line out there. You know what? Let's see if they. I want to. You know what? I gotta save them for the defensive zone face offs though. No, we want to switch them right away. Dubinsky, uh, that's a push face off. I don't know what my winger was doing right there. Could have helped out. Instead, he skated up towards the blue line. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, there you go. You're out. All right, second line, second line. Change it up. Barkley Goudreau, go and dump it. There you go. I'm just going to send a dump because that way he doesn't get caught up doing a super pass. And they get in on the four check then. Yeah, I'm just going to send a dump. A dump is a, is a shot on net on a line change, essentially. Jamie Benn across the blue line. He's trying to get his team back in. Oh, what a great stop in front by Ben Chirot. Intercepting that pass. I like to see it. Here comes Chirot. Oh, trying to feed the right winger in stride. But Tyler Sagan taking away that middle. That's a Lindell. Back to the point, Jamie Benn, slap shot along the ice, good save by Thatcher Demko, Demko, Goudreau, he's still out there, yo, Goudreau, get off, buddy, we got the uh, second line out there, Sammy, play, get in there on the four check, Sammy, nice try, oh, Jesus, four stallions in deep, you don't like to see that, Tyler Sagan, back the other way for Das, gets hit off the puck, Josh Anderson, we good, we good, first line, Eric Stahl, first line defensive, get it in deep, we're across the line, shoot that fucker, just get it in deep immediately, I don't care. All right, you are not turning up and losing the puck. All right, at least I got guys back for this rush. Oh, they do have some space, though, which is dangerous. Thatcher Demko forced into a save. You want to throw it out? You want to throw it out? No, Rupe Hintz is going to smother him. So we're going to get our third defensive pairing and our fourth line uh, uh, out there to help win the faceoff. But it's Joe Pavelski. Oh, God. He's a faceoff, man. Brendan Dubinsky. He's going to lose it to Joe. Steven Johns. Oh, taking off the puck by Frank Petrano. Good job, Petrano. Uh, first line. There you go. Dump it in again. Just keep on playing the stamina game here early, all right? Get the puck in deep. We will counterattack. You know what? I got to change that uh, that uh, offensive uh, trap up a little bit. When we go for a line change, we get beat with three players in. I got to get them trapping it up a little bit more in the neutral zone. Adam Larson. Oh, he had the assist in the overtime goal the last time. Here, shoot that, shoot that, shoot that now. On the net. Oh, it gets blocked. Oh, it's a stick lifting battle right now. And Rupe Hintz is going to come away with it. Nice job. Here come the Dallas Stars. Back to Yanmark on the wrist shot. Oh, God. Saved. Batten in. Break it out. Uh-oh. Help him out, boys. Help him out. Yarncroft picks it up for uh, Seattle. I got to get the third line out there. And third line defensive pair and keep fresh legs. Fresh legs is uh, necessary. Plays it back to Tim Heed. In low. Yarncroft. You want to skate out front? Get that puck. Get that puck. Get that puck. <gasps> oh, my God. It came out in front. And Bjugstad. Okay, so left face off. So second line defensive pairing. Yeah, and I need a face off taker. Dubinsky. All right, second line defensive pairing. Uh, actually, but Bjugstad is good at the faceoffs. Yeah, but we have a one-timer on the right side if we can win that faceoff. Oh, my God. The open. Okay, okay. So we've had some problems here in overtime. The, the Twitch chat has helped me out. Uh, hopefully, it is back to normal right now. Uh, the overlay is off, and uh, the play that you guys just missed when I was setting up Bjugstad to take the face off, Vinny Hino throws. I'll show you guys exactly what happened. Apparently, when I set back up the Elgato, then it froze. All right, Bjugstad won the faceoff. The push, and then Hino Stroza walks in, wrist shot. Look at that. Oh! Hino Stroza almost got us to the Stanley Cup Finals with that one, one play. Don't know, I, I get it, boys. I, I see the chat. I'll get to it after, all right? But because we, we failed miserably, I'm focusing on this right now. All right, so we're going to go back with Bjugstad and, uh, and Dahan. All right, so we can win back to the point. I got that one-timer set, baby. I got that one-timer set. Everything looks good. Win that face off. Oh, well, it's a sh yeah, it's a push. We'll take that. Oh, shoot it. Okay, back. Shoot it now. Shoot it now. Oh, rebound, rebound, rebound. Somebody grab it. Oh, oh my God. Jesus, the puck was just lying there. Same, same setup. Same setup. We did a good job. Same fucking setup. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love how you just tell them the one time. And I want those greasy overtimes. All right? And we get ourselves back to, uh, back to, the, to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time. Face off, win, shoot it. Dahan blasted off somebody, shoot it. Oh, one time in for almost got it. Almost got it, boy. Big body check. 
Here come the Dallas Stars. Third line, Blake Como. He's going to lose it. Oh, counterattack, counterattack. Go. I'm leaving them out there. They got a this strong counterattack here. Bjorkstad. Uh, shoot. Hino, what a glove save by Ben Bishop. He didn't even snag it. He fought it off. <gasps> Hino. Oh, Hino Stroza is getting fucking robbed. That's 310 Bellers right there. Hino Stroza is getting robbed. He could be the hero. Instead, he might be the zero when this is all said and done. Oh, Jesus. You got to remember those plays by Hino Stroza. Bjorkstad intercepts it. Nice job. All right, full defensive switch. Full defensive switch. Kasha. Kasha in. Take that shot. No, take that shot now. Just dump it. Don't turn up and lose it. There you go. Dump it so you can get on it behind the net. Or get an offensive zone face off. Oh, 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 ah, why was that pass back to the point? You had so many more options. Martin Hansel playing for freaking Dallas. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Go away. And I got fucking phone calls. I mean, it is just a technical fuck up of a live stream right here in overtime. Go away. Here we go. Jesus. Vatnin. Up to Larson. Larson over to, I don't even know who that was. Sammy Blay walks in. Uh, back to Vatnin. Va back to Adam Larson. Larson up to Anderson. Over to Kasha. Kasha in to Sammy Blay. Over to Kasha. Oh, Jesus. Tries to get that shot off. Couldn't do it. Oh, can we get that puck? No, we can't. All right, gotta, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all out of sorts right here. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention. Oh, my God. I'm looking over to see if the, the, the thing's working. I'm <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's one thing after another. First line, get it in deep. There you go. Offensive zone face off. Yeah, you know, if you can get a shot off the rush, you can get that offensive zone face off. I'll take that every single time, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And so here we go. Offensive zone face off. Let's go. Eric Stahl. Face-off win. Back to Tim Heed. One time. Oh, Jesus. Just shoot. I told him to shoot it. Ah. Step up. Oh, my God. All right. Here come the Dallas Stars. Tyler Sagan tries to windmill. Poked off the puck by the Seattle Stallion uh, defender. Yarncroc looking for an opening. Pass that puck, Yarncroc. There you go. Over to Tim Heed. Tim Heed across the blue line. Oh, looking for that opening. Take that shot. There you go. Get it on the net. Oh, Jesus. He, 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 play, he plays it right away. Fair enough. Oh, in front. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? You couldn't put that home? Ah, oh, there it is, Eric Yarncroc. Oh my god, Eric Stahl, you could have just walked in. Unbelievable, dude. On freaking real. Let's get our third defensive pairing out there for two one-timers. Wow, Yarncroc, dude, you're right on front. Just take a step back a little bit. Why are you killing your own angle for? Dubinsky. Sagan's out there, but he's tired. Can we win the faceoff? Dubinsky. Yes, he can. Play. Oh my god, the Ovechkin. He shot it right along the ice, but the goalie was actually ready for it. He didn't get fooled whatsoever. Here comes Jamie Benn. Uh, looking. Come on. Get that. Attack him, boys. Don't just let him go up and down along the boards. Tim Heed picks it up for the Seattle Stallions. Over to Frank Vitrano. Frank, uh, Frank Vitrano in the middle. Dubinsky. Oh my god, he just missed the net. Get that face off. He just missed the net. Uh, I need a right side one timer. So we're gonna go we're gonna leave Dubinsky out there and get our first line defensive pairing. Man, our boys are getting tired. Their guys gotta get, get, get me, their guys gotta be getting tired as well. Dubinsky, face off. He wins it. One. Fatney takes the shot. Another save by Ben Bishop. Fucking Ben Bishop, man. Can't <gasps> Vitrano! <sighs> just why a, a long slapper? Just get it on the net. Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh my <clears throat> Fatney, and I told you to shoot, not fucking pass to have Larson do a floaty fucking backhand. God damn it, man. Lars oh Jesus, Larson. Vatanen, there you go. Up to Vitrano. Vitrano's gonna dump that puck in. Leave the fourth line. We gotta get everyone else uh, fresh. Might as well get a fourth line four check in here. Barkley Goudreau gets the four check. Good job. Work it down low, Barkley. Work it down low, Barkley. Uh, Barkley. Heskinen gets it up to Yanmark. Here come the Dallas Stars. Joe Pavelski across the line, plays it back to Yanmark. Oh, Rishon just misses the net. Oh my God, too close, too close. Third line. Second line defensive pairing. Get it in deep. Oh, actually, no, he's doing a good job. Oh, Jesus. So close, man. Everything's a black hole. Oh, almost got that wrist shot. Missing the net. Yeah, the Seattle Stallions having a tough time getting a, a, a clean look at the net right now. That's the problem. Oh, no. Oh, like Martin Hansel just had a wide open look. Come on, guys. Get it up the ice and let's see what you can do. Make a good pass. Yeah, there it is. Anderson. Back door. Back door. Back. Mm, you fucking computers. Can't see it. Oh, Oh, geez, everyone's on their backhand. Everyone is on their backhand. It is the most annoying. Just shoot it.
I'm telling Dahan to shoot that. I mean, everyone's on their... Everything is a backhand in this fucking game. Backhand. And then look at this guy. Oh, I'm just going to backskate to get this puck. I'm not going to attack it. I'll just backskate, wait for it. Oh, whoops. I, I've, I've completely left myself vulnerable. Oh. Corey Perry across the blue line. Cuts back. Oh, Esselin now fires it. Just whiffs. Just misses the net. First line. Oh, my team is dead tired, man. What am I going to do? Oh, a poke check at the rock. Get it in deep. No. Here comes down. Oh, it's over. Okay, boys, so that was unfortunate. We had some big-time opportunities to score, but uh, either missing the net or Ben Bishop making the save. You know, we didn't get one of those lucky floaties that, uh, that Anderson just soared on the net. This time, uh, he made some good saves, and it was a bad line change by me, but Vinny Hinostroza just should have got that puck across the line. I wish there was a dump button. The, 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 the shot button doesn't kick in until they cross the blue line, right? I would just tell them to dump it as soon as they cross the red line, but... All right, now this is the game we got to get it done. This is the game. I already feel like this is going seven. I really do. Because we got the, uh, we didn't really, we don't, we don't have a game yet where we've scored a lot of goals, but we could have won that game. Easily could have won that game. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, game number six. Not making any changes to any lines. We just got to hope for the best here, ladies and gents. Got to get, I, we need like a four or five goal game. We haven't had that at all, right? We need one of those games. It's as simple as that. We need the sim to just smile upon us. So here it is in Thundershock. Could you imagine the celebration? You know, this would be it. The Western Conference Finals. The, the, the championship is in the building. On front of your home fans in your inaugural season. And Nick Bjugstad opens up the goal score. Oh my god, come on. Maybe maybe it was part of the story to lose in game five so we can win on home ice. But no, Essa Lindell is going to tie up the game. It's not going to be that easy, ladies and gentlemen. It is not going to be that easy. A 1-1 one, one tie. I mean, these two teams are even. Our record should have been a lot better. These two teams are even. Here we go. We just got lucky with the, with, the, with the steals that we've had. Tyler Sagan's going to open up the goal scoring in the second period. Power play for your Seattle Stallions. Oh, I'm not liking this. This is going seven, and we may have a game seven where we lose like seven to two, man. I'm telling you. Oh, we, know we need to win this game. Vinny had so many chances in overtime. He got robbed three times by Devin Dubnik. Or uh, uh, Ben Bishop, sorry. Dubnik was the last series. All right, Vinny, good job. And we have a power play starting in the third period. We've got to win this now, all right? This is essentially the season. You got If you want that trip to the Stanley Cup Finals, you, got, you cannot be going back to Dallas. We can't go back to Dallas. This is our Game 7. This is our Game 7, all right? So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Third period, 2-2. Two -two. We are out shooting them. Does that mean we're playing better? <sighs> Yarny, the Yarnster, gives us the lead. Another power play for the Seattle Stallions. Come on, baby. Another power play. They won us in the finals. Fucking Joe Pavelski scores and ties it up. Ten minutes left. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, Seattle. Do we have a hero? Five minutes. Four minutes. Three minutes. Two minutes. No, not again. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's going to make me go through three overtime games. And we're going to lose them all. We're going to lose. Ah! <laughs> no, man, not like this. So here it is. Thundershock. All right. Might be the last home game of the season for the Stallions. Will it be a loss or will we celebrate a trip to the Stanley Cup Finals by not touching the conference championship? Come on, boys. Just fucking do it for me. We were up 3-1 in the series. Not like this. In the middle. Oh, 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 oh. And I don't need any EA voodoo goals going in either. Evander, back pass to Larson. All right, Larson. Cross the blue. Send it on the net. Whatever. Send it on the net. Dump and chase. We ain't having no shenanigans happen. Four check. Evander. Okay, okay. Oh! Oh my god, what a save. He went for a poke check and oh no, I just remember that one now. All these saves by Ben Bishop, dude. Last game against uh, Hino Stroza, he went for a poke. I thought it was in. I thought it was in. He went for the poke check. Oh, stall in the, in the, it, there was room and it's a backhander so it's harder and he shot right in the glove. Oh. All right, all right, relax. Uh, fourth line and I need my right hand. I need a, I my right handed shot, but right hand is already taken. So third line defensive pairing. Let's go. All right, come on, Dubinsky. All right, I need that, that fourth line gritty face-off goal up against Tyler Sagan. He's a good face-off man as well. 
Yes! Shoot! Uh, why would you pass it? Why the fuck would you pass it right away? Oh my god, this fucking game. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Look what I gotta look at. Look what I gotta fucking look at in this stupid fucking game, dude. Alright? He gets the puck. I'm telling him to shoot. Oh, no. I'm gonna go for a pass. And doing so... Oh, I got just black hole myself up the ass. So the puck... Look... Fuck! Alright, come on. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Move it up, Tim Heed. Let's go, baby. Yes! Across the blue. Am I shooting it? Am I shooting it? Oh! Oh, almost... Go, go! Holy... F all right, I'm surprised you kept that in the building there, Tim Heed. Jesus. All right, fourth line doing their job. All right, Radulov plays it back, looking for the opening. Oh, good Lord, he almost sent that one. Uh, uh, I want to change the lines, but I'm not going for a bad line change. Not like the last overtime. Okay, I got to wait. Change. 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 Everyone change it up. All right, so we're going with the Sammy Blay line, baby. Let's see what they can do when they're out there. Man, I don't like our four check. We just get beat by those computers when we go for a line change. Radulov into the middle. Don, come on, guys. Jesus. Where, what, what are we doing? Why is that fucking... Well, we had our chance to have the storybook ending with the Western Conference Championship there in Thundershock. I mean, it's still a possibility, but I've seen this story written plenty times before. All right, a 3-1 series lead, and uh, you don't get it done in games 5 and 6. Anything can happen in game 7. All right, we're not due. They're not due. It's just, I mean, we had an overtime win, but two back-to-back -back overtime losses. And that is infuriating because just watching the AI skate around out there like a bunch of assholes. But you know what? That's, that's part of coaching, I guess. I got to find better players that do a better job when they're actually on the ice. But Jesus, man. Watching these AI just constantly float on their backhand with no, with no forward aggression it is... Ugh, it's, hard, it's hard to lose yourself in this and have some fun. But whatever. It's game seven. No more vamping. No more complaining. It comes down to this. Not making any line changes. Our boys are just being given the chance, all right? What terrifies me is that they might be due for another game where they go off and score seven goals. You know, we had our two chances. Back-to-back -back overtimes, and we couldn't even get one, right? So it, it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. It all And, and Dadnoff is waiting in the fucking fight. Yep, I mean, it's, just a, it's a double, all right? We're going to lose 3-1, and Dadnoff's going to win the cup. That's how it's going to go. So here it is. Game seven. You got to rely on Captain Stahl alternates in Vatnin and uh and uh who was it who was the other uh, alternate it was uh yarn crock or yeah it was someone like that got to rely on your uh your vets but also you got to rely on the goaltender thatcher demko but they got the, they got the better vets man i don't know evander kane right we're gonna need evander kane larson we're gonna need these guys to step up so here it is enough wasting time as much as i want this to be a close game if I were to put my money on something, I feel like they're going to go off and beat us by three or four goals. I just, I, I, I feel the voodoo, boys. I feel the voodoo. So here it is. Game seven on the road in Dallas. What is going to happen to your C... <laughs> Yanmark scores. First shot, oh, the first goal in the, first, oh, the third shot of the game. It's all right as long as we can keep it within one. As long as they don't get that two goal lead, it's still a game. So come on, power play for Seattle. Can they get it? No, they cannot. They cannot solve Ben Bishop, who has been outstanding over the last couple of games. Power play for Dallas. It does not go anywhere. All right. All right. It's not the end of the world. We are down by one, but we didn't concede that second, and we are out shooting them 10 to 9, and they've had some power plays in there as well, right? So I just got to hope for the best. Nothing I can do. The Dallas Stars are not being denied a trip to the Stanley Cup Finals this year, apparently. Fucking Ben Bishop. Second period underway. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Somebody step up. One of our... Oh, it's over. Jamie, Ben, it's over. It's over. I told you it's going to be one of these games. Kasha, Kasha gets us back with the... Wait a minute! Kasha and Evander Kane, they turn it into a game. Oh, my God. Ben Bishop. Fucking... Uh, I mean, Thatcher Demko, you've got to just shut the, shut the door for the rest of the game, buddy. You've got to close it down. It's as simple as that. Two minutes left. One minute left. Oh, my God. And Scory Perry gets a ball breaker of a goal right there before the start of the third period. It's over, boys. It's over.
It's over. Scory Perry. I told you, they were, they were going to be due for one of these games. Expect another two or three goals for them here in the third period. All right, it's over. It's over. Fucking 3-1 series lead in the conference finals, and I couldn't win. Fucking two overtime losses in game five and six. Two chances with the one goal. Oh, my God. Barkley Goudreau gets us back within one. Please don't, don't let this magical story come to an end. Goudreau and Yarn Croc, please. Five minutes left. Four minutes left. Let there be a late winner for us. No, no, not again. No! Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it. Fucking Yarny and Goudreau tie the game up in the third. Shots are even. 27 to 27. Score 4 to 4. Are you telling me? I might have to go out with three overtime losses in a row in the conference finals. Went up three to... I mean, oh my god. The game just wants to shit all over me, dude. All right. Let's fucking do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is wild. A storybook ending for the Seattle Stallions. They get two in the third to tie it up. And now they've got the third game in a row to go to overtime after being up 3-1 in the series. First two games, they didn't get it done. Are they going to lose three in a row, or will they get that goal, that golden goal, to get them to the Stanley Cup Finals? Oh, no! Three chances. Fuck. <sighs> hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my God. Pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God. Baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam. Oh, yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500. No divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.